So welcome to session 32. Uh, we, we sort of had to skip session last night due to uh, numbers, so tonight we're uh, uh, picking up from where we left off uh, two weeks ago in the bowels of one of the pillars of the Iris Band. Uh, luckily for the group, last session they didn't actually have um, Squirt um, uh, amongst them, but um, their luck sort of ran out. <laughs> yeah. Did David actually look up what um, Squirt's um, drawback is? No, I, I know nothing no. about Squirt. I want David the player wants to know nothing about it. Uh, that's actually a permanent marker, so you probably don't want to um, write on anything with that. No, David the player wants it? nothing to do with those stats. I remember the DC roll, that's all. So that, um, so that Balath can be shocked and annoyed. We have two big weekers tonight. Hey. We do. <laughs> so, in introducing the people at the table, we have David. Ah, yeah, hey, I'm David. I play uh, Balath Silvertongue and definitely not Plum and Goronov. Uh, Balath Silvertongue, who is a human sort of sorcerer who's absolutely useless in combat unless it involves potentially healing someone but not very often because he doesn't do that sort of thing also known as pimwinkle the uh improved the better pimwinkle <laughs> um, also haunts the dreams of the real pimwinkle yes you, you still I, have i miss big week all right and, and then uh speaking of um the original pimwinkle we have mark the one and only great pimwinkle the not the one and only because there's, there's an improved pimwinkle over there yes, pimwinkle right. the lesser <laughs> No, Pimwinkle the Greater. Pimwinkle has a slave. So, uh, so angry about that. <laughs> so, I am Pimwinkle, the half and detective, uh, master all slaves of this current session. Um, with my offsider squirt. Did I hear you wanted more slaves? I didn't say I wanted more slaves. You said master of all slaves. Yes, as you saw my Facebook post today, <laughs> no more issues, man. Even though you said, maybe things will happen, we go, no more. Um, so, and my, um, my, Companion in tow, squirt the might, who, but not the mighty, just the might. He's the might at the moment. Uh, he might get mighty later. Yes. He's the might not. Yeah. No, no, how no. about he, how he about might I, have, I have a better idea? I have a better idea. How about pink Rico the return? Ah, <laughs> the artist formerly known as Pinwinkle. Since he was resurrected, uh, yes, he he has been um, uh, resurrected, not reincarnated. Right. So he's been brought back from the dead. Uh, he his body's got its um, uh, uh, used car um, feel to it. Yeah, only got, one previous owner. Look, he's got a lot of issues to go through, but he believes in living life as he should. And whether it's going to be good or bad, he doesn't know yet. Shit. That will, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. We all, we all needed him back, so. <laughs> and then uh, online tonight, we have Victor. Hello. <laughs> can hello, I am Victor. I am from Brazil. I don't speak English very well, but I can understand it, so no problem with this. Hey, you still speak I better play... than some people I grew up with. Jeez. <laughs> and Jeremy. Uh, I play uh, Kanga, Kanga Zero. That's a... Uh, wild uh, order druid that is very wild order druid <laughs> he does like society he didn't win and he didn't live in society very long so it's all new to him including socializing with people with actually people not animals so uh, use one or two funny moments and definitely not a vampire uh, that's working it, on it. <laughs> working on it. Okay, and then up we have Jeremy. Yes, good evening. Uh, playing uh, Kordar, the the would-be hero of Sandpoint, trying to live up to the names of others who've gone before him. Um, and, uh, yes, <laughs> seemingly the conscience of the party. Shut up. <laughs> uh, so what what happens with the games when you are not around? Hey, uh, we embrace true morality. <laughs> <laughs> but based on how unsuccessful Cordar is as a conscience, he can't be that much worse. 
<laughs> Give him a chance. I'm sure he can work on it. If he, if he says challenge accepted, you know you're in for some trouble. Well, it's, 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 good, it's, good to, it's good to get everyone on board today. I mean, uh, it, that's more place to steer uh, Kangasero into the white, into the right uh, paths. I mean, it could be a lot worse. I, yeah, I love I love a foot table. Okay, so uh, you were um, charged with going down into uh, the depths of one of the broken pillars of the Iris Band uh, that the Tower Girls had claimed to see if you can find the missing shard down there and uh, and so you, you've got uh, one of the um, shards embedded in Beleth I'm sure that won't go down badly no what could possibly go wrong <laughs> where is my fucking dices <laughs> god damn it it's okay we can roll for you let Martin roll for you he loves rolling Every time when I just found this dice, is nice. Now, didn't you know okay, dice have little legs that they, they move away when you're not looking? You need to yeah. buy what I do, a big bag so you don't lose it. Ah. I like those cool little coaly dust mite things from How's Moving Castle. How's Moving Castle? No. Oh, Jesus. What's the one where the parachute turns, turns into pigs? Oh, yeah, yeah. The good one. Yeah, another one yet. Yeah, I can't remember that. Dang it. Fuck. Yeah, I know that oh, one. wait. I don't know what you're talking about. I just can't remember that one either. Fuck. Is that Porco or also? It's one with the yellow girl with parents. Spirited away. Spirited, Spirited away. away. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's been a while since that. Yeah. I, I found them. God damn it. Well done. Back to the story, man. Back to the story. Yeah. So, uh, um, uh, but besides, besides the um, um, yelling at the gods, uh, you had um, gone down and you found out that. Uh, one of you had the power to open and close the doors. Well, open the doors at least. Every time you opened a door, another door closed. Yep, I remembered something like that. <laughs> Ooh, I'm so happy. I find my dice. And um, and apparently no one else can even budge the doors unless they break the door, setting off um whatever system that opens and closes the door, um electrocuting the person who breaks the door, as uh, Cordar found out. Hey Cordar, you want to try again? Hey Cordar, I want to see you do it again. I bet you can't do it again. I'm not there yet, so I can't say that. And, and they left um Pimwinkle in the entryway. And they were just heading back there last session. So, I'll, I'll just sit there talking to Squirt and say, now Squirt, they haven't left us. Well, actually, you couldn't even get into the entryway because the door was shut. And I'm looking to go. How, how can he get back to us since uh, all the doors behind us so is locked? That, that's the thing is you, you basically were you were already heading back to so the entryway. Squirt and I are making plans. Oh, okay. The group. Mm -hmm. We're going to get a bunch of mites as well as him and we're going to work out... So we're discussing because we An don't think they're going to army of shitty mites. Hey, I'm going to do what I have to do. I don't know you're alive yet. So, so I'm just discussing these as well. Imperial Guard Commander. Well, look at it this way. It, it could be worse. It could be an army of little goblins. So I'm, I'm trying to explain the squirt about how to keep the, the sword, you know, how to look after your sword and your dagger and your, and, your, and, your, and your armor and things like that. While we're waiting for people, I said, they'll be back. I have to try it, folks. I said, I have faith. Because you've basically been at the door going, why isn't this open? No, I wouldn't be touching the door if it's closed on me, so I'm not stupid. So <laughs> I'm rolling reflex safe. No, because well I can't I've got your bonus on that one. So I was like I'm going, no, I'll just wait. So mm. I was sitting down, we're just talking about stuff and all that kind of stuff and just discussing get, and learning about a bit about Squirt's background as much as I can, you know. So I'm just sitting there going, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'll give it a day and then I'm gonna head back up. So I was like, Yeah, so Okay, so uh heading back to the others, you were last at it. Uh, you had um, fought a couple of uh, Lemurs, mm -hmm. or Lemurs, however you'd like to pronounce it. We, we fought like a badass Lemur as well. You did? Yeah. And uh, they, they were actually beating you up quite successfully. Mm. Ah, the dangling uh, vampire things. I mean, I remember them. Oh, it wasn't the dangling <laughs> ones. These were the big slug-like ones. Oh, okay. So, so, so you think slime monster. <laughs> oh, my God. But made out of flesh. Oh. And there must be uh, some must, other type of uh, unsuccessful, okay. unsuccessful uh, vampire so experiments, I remember. <laughs> okay, so uh, you guys um, knew where to um, go to head out and were deciding at the last session to um, head that way. 
uh, on your way, because uh, you, you do pass a door on the way, but you think you can come back to that one. And you'll find your, uh, your hallway end in a um, room that is uh, about 30 foot in diameter, glowing, a soft glowing circle of rune shimmer in the floor. And what appears to be a single flickering flame burns with no apparent source of fuel in the middle of the room. They can come back to me yet. Can no, you, can you like, uh, uh, throw a map at us? Because it, it was a couple of weeks ago. I don't actually remember the layout anymore. That's okay. We went like back and forth for, from some rooms. I remember that we was a, a right corridor that we didn't take. Yeah, uh, we basically, we originally came into a room that had with crossroads. We went off to one side. We've gone down one side of the thing. And you, then we've gone through the middle. To that room there yep you went that way you went that all way. right you went and had a look at those things you went up then you went back down again then you went down this way um where um you almost left Balif behind uh then you went across this room uh opened that way decided not to go that way went up here went up there fought some lemurs and then I Jesus. head back up that way again. <laughs> and, 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 uh, basically, we are lost in the dungeon. <laughs> no, no, okay. Well, Korda knows exactly where you are. It's okay. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, okay, guide us. So, because, um, uh, I was going to ask Bella to have a quick look in the storeroom before you, you let moved on. So if he... Um... What room? Oh, no, that's okay. You, 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 both, you did find it last time. You found that there was, it appears to be a... Um, uh, a clockwork um, contraption um, of a three-legged forearm humanoid made of iron and brass in that room. You just didn't find the um, uh, key that um, winds him up. No, that can't, yes. I said that. I looked that, around that, for the key, but couldn't find the key. So, so. Yeah, I'm going to make a perception if I can figure yeah, it out. Uh, don't, don't like, uh, start the, the vampire's toys. To uh, leave it be. <laughs> so do, do your role to see if you succeed on your um, minion. Balath does not care how long he holds the party up for, he will be searching everywhere for that key in the hope that he can unleash it upon the rest of the party. Slash anybody who wants to hurt us, obviously, definitely not against the party. Uh, uh, you, you guys are spending that... about half an hour looking and not finding anything, going through absolutely everything. You think the key's in another room? How about, another like, uh, yeah, no, the, every room, every there is it, any one of us assume. can, can lockpick, right? Uh, only one of you can do it, probably, and it's not, yet, not there. At a time, anyway. I don't really think that trying two people trying to pick a lock at the same time would be a really good idea, if I'm perfectly honest. Uh, because uh, I don't know if I could do that, but I can make. I can try to make my familiar try to like be a lock picker. I don't know. It's not a lock. It, you basically have to wind it using the correct key. Okay. Okay. I'm not an engineer. Oh, well, Maria does, doesn't know how to block this shit. Oh, the the toy, sorry, the curse. <laughs> well, you you, you also uh, Balif would also believe it would depend on the magic involved. So if you wind it without the magic, then uh, who knows what will happen? It might go boom. Yeah, but it'd be cool. Uh, I I don't I don't want Maria any clues of that uh, that trap right there. <laughs> We have a party full of full of animals and stuff, right? There is the there is Pink Week or uh, Slave. Yep. There is the Crow from Belaf. There is Maria from me, and Jeremy is alone, basically. <laughs> uh, Jeremy considers the rest of you his um, um, minion or companion. No, 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 no. <laughs> I you help my, it. Uh, you my Cord, Cord, Cordar works on the idea that this party is possibly indication that the Pathfinder Society is not the all perfect organization he believes it to be. <laughs> <laughs> I missed a lot since last well, session, haven't I? If, if, if Kranga were a prat, probably he didn't, uh, he wasn't able to notice. <laughs> probably. Okay, so. Um... Okay, so. You're satisfied that you can't find the key to the um, spider or whatever. But why did you guys want the key for this this uh, uh, death trap? Yeah, but you wanted to wind it up for whatever reason. So 
Um, but, but I don't want it. I, I am against it. Uh, the, the, this shit looks dangerous. Now, Cordar went back and confirmed that the the door to the south that we decided we weren't going to go yet yep, had did closed. close when we opened the door to the storeroom, didn't it? It did. Good. That was Cordar's main reason wanting to open a door at that, at, down that corridor. So, But we might as well continue down that corridor because uh, we can potentially... Uh, Catch up with Pimwinkle, or, or maybe we just uh, if we had come by sending Pimwinkle like a message, he could come down and cut meet us at this other the other uh, ancient ways to the from the the sea that we found. Yeah, wow! Well, apparently, someone didn't sacrifice the message spell. Oh. Twenty-two and twenty-four on perception from both. You still don't hear them. Good, that's cool. That's a lot. It's actually quite quiet where you are. That's fine with me. I'm happy with it. I still are. Just okay, so before you reach Wait, the room uh, with uh, the uh, runes in the floor, how do you get to Pimwinkle, man? What the fuck? You, you knew where oh, the entrance was. We are was. heading back. All right. Yeah, we're... <laughs> um, that, sorry. But before if you we keep hitting room, up this package you're on, I'm sure we'll end up back towards that, the first room. Before you so. reach the room of the runes in the floor that I just described earlier, there is yep. a door to the um, left if you wish to um, open it. No, I don't want it. Okay, yeah. so... Right. Well, but I say, we probably can't open the door very easily, can we? Not without Kangasera opening it for you. I don't want it. This might be the door with the key stuff. Okay. okay. I, I thought, thought Pimwickle was one that actually opened doors. <laughs> he hadn't opened any of the doors here. Oh, okay. Every time a door had okay. been opened, it had been okay, opened look. by either Force or by Kangasero. Oh, no, oh, no, so that's yes, because Kangasero is... I, I was look, thinking I can, Pimwickle if he had his... Um, his Sahedron rune, but no, this was... This was uh, Kangasero because he remembers this place. Yep. So, okay, yep. so... Uh, I, I, yeah. I can the... open the door for you, but if you found the key, uh, I am, I guess, uh, turning on that uh, that devil's toy right there. Yeah. Okay. Kordak's not concerned about not going into the door yet because if we're heading back to collect Pimwinkle, then... We can look at this door again later, potentially. So. Okay, we can we can like uh we are so, we are lost, right? So the, you are so lost. You you do have had people tell you that you're heading back to the entrance by going north. Okay. Yeah. And and and, and, and uh, plus I know this place uh, from the back of my hand, right? You do. And, Some reason. And you've come into a area um, that you remember is. Um, uh, a guard room, and that's where you see the uh, glowing circle of runes in the floor with what appears to be a flickering flame uh, floating in the middle of the room. Oh, is uh, this is something we we saw before? Uh, this is the first time you guys had seen it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this looks wrong. Maybe yeah, we don't looks... uh, mess up with uh, the magic circle. That, that, that looks wizard work, yes. Is there... How big's the room compared to the circle? Can we walk around okay. the circle with that going in? You can walk around the circle. The circle um, uh, does the centre of the room. Right. And the uh, runes um, seem to um, uh, shimmer with a red light. Oh, look, uh, I know what to do. I will try to cast Read the Aura. Is that take long? Uh, yes, yeah, so uh, it will take uh, at least, I think, ten minutes. And then you've got uh, to touch the... Our, uh, one minute only. Uh, 60 seconds. 60, 60, 60, 60. Jesus, 60 seconds. God and, dang it. And then I believe you have to um, <laughs> touch the um, rune as well. So you have to okay. touch what you're reading. Uh, wait, I don't know if I need to touch it. Yeah. Uh, so let can me you check. Tell me on what's going on here? So he's basically going to cast the cantrip reorder, which is one minute. Target one object, range 30 feet. It's a semantic verbal. Why are we? I mean, no, he doesn't have to touch it. He can do it without touching it. it. Touch it. Okay. But it takes, him a whole, uh, it takes him a whole. It takes him a whole. One minute. Minute. Mm. The actual military magic. Yeah. So like, Let me see. Takes if the one minute. Skill in the game. Used to be. Helps. Uh, so, are there any other exits from this room? Uh, yes, there is. You can see the corridor heading back to the um, entryway door to that room where you found all the um, uh, the grub spewing um, uh, large worm. 
and, and the big statue. And the big statue, yes. Yeah. Um, well, Kordar will cautiously go around the edge of the circle mm-hmm. um, to uh, stand near that other passageway so he can look down and confirm that there's nothing coming from that direction Yep. while the, uh, the wizards do their work. While this is happening in the background, Shoot. I'm teaching Squirt how to use the dagger. I'm mm-hmm. just giving you some techniques. So just just on a side note. So. He, he drops it How lot. cute. <laughs> you should be doing about the same thing with your little thing. But anyway. Okay, so you, you spend a minute uh, of um, gesturing <gasps> and... Uh, <laughs> Uh, it, it, uh, it's, it's, this stuff is is illusion. I I am fucking. <laughs> okay, so uh, you you do detect it is magical, and it is conjuration magic. Okay. Uh, okay. But it, uh, this thing is affecting light. This might be a I on some kind of uh, vampire illusion. It, it, uh, make it, me it, believe it, this is a. Uh, Conjuration spell. Conjuration is that it? it summoning? Could, could quite. Uh, conjuration is a summoning um, uh, school, and okay, uh, th- th- this might bring something in, so we 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 don't need to mess this up. This might bring in the vampires master oh, from space. Don't mess up. <laughs> Why didn't I do that before? Who school has a has a. a that feeling that oh, I'm not again, I think it's here. That's all, just saying that there. I'm not there, but I have a gut feeling. So. You don't have prestige. <laughs> okay, so yeah, uh, you walk around the circle and go to oh, the yeah, entryway. Yeah yeah, 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 don't mess up with the, that trap. Okay, does Balath walk around the edge of the circle? Sure. No, I honestly, I haven't. I've been trying to find this so i'm not really following so that's well. okay that they've got a glowing circle and they were uh you're told it was a conjuration um effect and it was magical uh, Can I use no I, actually i told that the the, the vampires masters screen. of this place uh, may come in from the circle what's your tradition <laughs> yeah but he interpreted <laughs> yeah, I interpret like this. If if you believe me, you yeah, believe you're, you're me. Thanks, Kara. I told us that we stop vampires and things like that. Religion. <laughs> well, like, they interpreted that information. And, oh, okay. Conjuration circle, huh? <laughs> uh, let me just check. Or maybe you believe me, man. You you should believe me. I am trustworthy. Uh, 15, <laughs> 15 uh, it, it does uh, remind you of the summoning circles of home. Summoning and you believe circles. me, uh, Balaf? Do you believe me? As in summoning to the circle yep. or summoning out of the circle? Or, or, or summoning things into the circle and any anyone who crosses it um, breaks the protection and pretty much can be taken to hell. Did any of these peanuts go into it? No. Look, I say to you that this is the vampire ways. They can come in from from here, from this circle. You, do you believe me or not? <laughs> oh, I'm trying not to be an asshole. Well, no, no. <laughs> I, I'm sure Bella believes that Corda, sorry, that Kangasero believes that. <laughs> yeah, I know, uh, no, but I, I'm, just, I'm telling so you. So right now I'm having the internal internal conflict of does Belath tell Kangasero to go inside the circle? I'm yeah, just you looking can, up the you can um, tell me whatever you want. Case. I know this is a vampire way uh, in. So. Balath looks to the rest of the party and says, "Do not stand inside. Do not cross into that circle." I just said that. You, you're talking. You're, you're talking to the party who have already carefully walked around the circle to the other. Yeah, they're, they're all staring at you from the other side That's of the circle. That's fine. Just don't go into that circle. I can tell you what's going to happen. And I know how dumb some of you are. <laughs> I feel another chill in my spine. Okay. goes around. Uh, K- Kangasero knows that you are not talking to him. Okay, Kangasero <laughs> opens the door into the area where the statue is. Still one room before Mark, and you still won't be able to hear them through the door. I wonder if I could send my familiar in there. You could. He just looks at you. <laughs> He's kind of a dick. Oh, really? He, po- he-, he pokes your ear. Uh, uh, he obviously knows what you're thinking. <laughs> I can throw you in there. It clamps onto your ear. 
<laughs> I can heal my ear. Can I, can, I, can I pull him? Can I pull the crow? Yes, you can pull like, the crow. No, you cannot. <laughs> <laughs> Just remember, you sleep a lot more than the crow does. And the crow isn't an animal. Um, the, the, the crow reminds you of um, vampire-possessed birds. You know what? That's no not way. Far off it. Um, yeah, fell off no way, um, no way, no way. Go into the circle. If, okay, it, very... if that was the case... Well, it, its eyes glow red every now and then, and it um, uh, does really weird um, twisted things. Oh, yeah. Like yeah, but, but, but my, eyes, my eyes are glowing it's too, so I, I'm kind of used to <laughs> shit like that. But you don't see yourself in a mirror. Everyone else sees you. Yeah, but uh, I believe you. You said my, my eyes are red. I believe you. Okay, and you open the door to the outside and you see Pimwinkle um, uh, sitting there uh, and, and um, Squirt dropping his um, dagger uh, quite uh, regularly. Uh, on the water? Uh, to, to, uh, to the north of the opening room, the way out. Uh, Pim, Pimwinkle um, got some notice, which is why he came back down, is because he was looking after the boat earlier. Uh, you, you've been told that at the end of the day you're needed at the Pathfinder Lodge. Oh. Wait, is, is that the end of the, of the day right now? Not yet. I mean... Uh... You, you're still about um, halfway through the day. Okay. Uh, but the point being the fact uh, that okay, we, if we, we're we not at least need exploring. to return before, like, at the end, be, be red, we, we won't spend the night out here. Okay. Or at least Pinwick will won't. Oh, okay. we, we don't want to spend the night here, but... Uh... Does he need to go before us? Is that it? I know the the party's been summoned back to the Pathfinder Lodge. Oh, it was the whole party, okay. But yeah, yeah, but uh, we still have some hours right before we have to leave. Yep. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, we we can do more exploring. Uh, we can go to to the other door that is shut. So yeah, so we can look through the door to the the south. south. Yep. And yep. there are stairs uh, going the down. But uh, if we find the key, uh, you know what to not do. <laughs> okay, so unless we are uh, like looking for this uh, devil's toy, if not, uh, just leave it be, like the circle. <laughs> well, I, mean, I suspect that the. Uh... That the, there'd be that the Pathfinder Society would be interested in some of the items and equipment that and oddities that are down here. So. Oh no, man! What the hell? We we will need to like bring the the devil's toy back with us. Or at least how big is it? How, it uh, how big is it? Uh, is it like uh, really big? big? It, it it is a medium sized creature. Oh, or a medium sized heavy. object at the moment. <laughs> medium sized number. I medium I don't want I I don't want any. Any uh, anything near that shit, so I will, I am not carrying it. I don't want to uh, touch uh, vampire mm. things. Well, you're not sure you could even lift it. I can. I think, I think I we can bring this. I think we can avoid it for the time being. Why does he want to bring it back? He doesn't. That's just it. He said that I'm saying I'm curious as to why he's so vehement about not bringing it back when we're not making any attempt to grab it at the present time. <laughs> yeah, if you want to relay the information of what this is to uh, is let's don't worry about it. I know all about it. It's not a really uncommon thing. It's just big. And it's a bit smarter. Don't stress. Right, but there, there's a, a macho vampire thing. It's not a vampire, dumbass. <laughs> it's a macho vampire toy, man. Don't, don't, don't mess with it. Uh, I, 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 we'll have a look down the stairs. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> Okay, you go down the stairs and you find yourself at a teen intersection. It goes uh, left and right. Do you continue your usual of going left? Left sounds good. Okay. Uh, you, you continue on while there are, or you can hear them arguing behind you. And I'm uh, do I remember anything about, about this uh, particular place we are heading to? Uh, I mean, do I remember something ahead? Like a big rune or like uh, something useful? Uh, okay, so give me a um, no. intelligence check. Oh, dang. Uh, wisdom uh, check. You, 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 you want, want to say wisdom speak. check. You uh, want to say wisdom. That's, that's not wisdom, right? Care, right? <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, let's go. Uh, oh, I rolled it. 
uh, three, so two total. So a total of two. <laughs> uh, yes, you know, um, the room that Jeremy's heading for is um, really important, but you don't know why. I play Blue Eyes Lodge right now. Okay. That's better than uh, uh, Vampire's Lodge or something like that. Uh, let's keep going. Okay. <laughs> so, Jeremy, you walk into the room uh, with Korda. A pillar stands at either side of this wide room. The northern pillar is carved with the image of a beautiful woman wielding a rancher. The southern pillar depicts seven robed men and women, the features eroded with the ears. Each of them holds one segment of the seven pointed star. Strange runes are carved into the floor. Is the same runes we are using, or uh, is it strange? The, the, the runes are Thessalonian runes, which you still haven't been able to read. Yeah. All right. And how big is this room? Are there any exits, or uh, there is an exit on the other side of the room? You have to pass between the two pillars. The room is about um, forty feet by twenty feet, with the pillars standing either side of the pathway that you could walk right between. Mm-hmm. Is there room to walk behind the pillars? Uh, yes, you can walk around the pillars. But this is you looking at it without actually going in there. Yeah, right, yeah so I'm just looking in the room at the present time. So, um, um, is there anything on the walls? Uh, the walls themselves are blank. Okay. Uh, me can just send a boost of the tech magic ahead. Like, to see if something like the pillars of magical... I know I can't, like... Point the the target. They just send a pulse forward. You do detect magic or read aura. Uh, detect the magic because read aura. Okay, I need to... you, you detect the presence of magic. Jeez. Uh. Okay. Now I will attempt a read aura close to the pillars. I will okay. so that, like that, to so stand close to it. While you start that, everyone else has ten rounds of actions. All right. <laughs> Uh, there is something magical about this place. Yeah, do I don't like it. The whole yeah. place is magic. Mm, yeah, but uh, I, I say it's magic here. Somewhere. Um, Belath looks to uh, Korda and just shrugs his shoulders. Uh, it looks like a magical <laughs> trap to you. Yeah. Um, so how wide is the room? The room is... Um, 43, 40 feet north to south and 20 feet east to west. And the passageway you're walking to goes right through the center of it. The There is a pillar in the north and a pillar in the south. So mm -hmm. you can walk between the two pillars without actually touching them. But that would uh, there's runes on the floor that you'd be walking on, is that right? There are runes all over the floor, yes. Okay. Um, hey, guys. Does I think that he could possibly jump across the room and avoid the, yes. avoid the runes? You, can you jump 20 feet? Yeah, I remember the. Uh, <laughs> I, I remember that we can do superhero jumps as normal, but. <laughs> Wait, that means that uh, for doing a read or the pillars, I must have uh, stepping on the roof. No, you can do it without stepping in. Okay. Like it close enough that you can see them in there very clear. So, so Pimwinkle's tapping you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tapping who? That's you, Jeremy. Tap it, tapping oh. Porter. As he's, yeah, Cordo's lining up to see whether or not he can get over there, yeah. What is it? It's a magical trap. I did a that's, why I wasn't, that's why I wasn't planning on skipping on the wound. Okay. I take 15 steps. Hey, if you can get rid of it, steps steps back. Back. <laughs> <laughs> if you so, get rid of it, all the better. No, 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 you want to jump. I'll let you, you learn that you learn. And, and, you, and you know, you know there's Squirt standing next to the um, uh, hallway watching at, at the entryway. I, Squirt, come stand next to me, please. Okay. Yeah. That's it. That's it. This is what not to do. Alf looks down to Squirt. He's not wrong. I say, I say like, chill. You, uh, you actually, two are you don't have a chance. You're in the middle of casting a spell, Victor. Oh shit! You, you, you have <laughs> unless you want to start again. Because you're standing in the entryway as well. You know. Okay. Really so, um, Corda, um, you get to make your um, leap of faith. Yeah. Okay. He's gonna move back a bit so he can get a running start. Yep. And then see just how far he can long jump. How strong are you? Um, um, well, the DM's rolling better. Okay. Uh, it, it, it's um, between players, so I don't mind. Cool, that's right. Okay. There might be the side bit. You, you might hear over here some side bit at the back. Okay. Well, Cord, I successfully leaped twenty-five feet. Yep. Uh, how much move do you have? Uh, well, he's got a 
25 foot movement. Mm, let me check. So with a, a stride beforehand, then the leap, and a stride afterwards, you can hopefully get across the room. The map that Martin's currently doing makes me think that I'm about to win a copper. Okay, so um, considering um, if you're doing the long jump, Jeremy, that means you have to do the stride action. Uh, yeah, like I said, I was, I was stepping back, giving myself some run-up, and then we'll jump. Effectively, I've got a stride. Right then, then just, jump. Before, just before you run, you hear uh, but Bella Fett. You, you, would, you would fall five feet short because you would hit the... Uh, no, you, yeah, you'd fall five sheet, sheet, uh, feet short because it's uh, one move in the whole long jump. It's not two moves in the long jump. It's a two action. Yeah, it's a two action. Yeah. So the stride followed by the leap is the two actions. You can't leap for... Oh, actually, actually I think, yes, you can do... As, as like opposed do to doing a leap yeah. from a standing start where you don't get a bonus to it type stuff, which yeah. comes single action. Yeah, I was just reading, so. it, uh, reading it again, getting it in my head. Yeah. So you, you get the like 20 feet move, and then you get the 25 feet, you can jump. Yeah. So, yes, you land on the other side of it without landing on anything. Damn. Oh. Bing. <laughs> and, and then uh, Kangasero still has nine rounds left to cast his spell. I give the copper just yeah. for it. Yep. Cordar will take a look down and further down the money. corridor. Uh, he, he looks at the copper and looks at you c confused. Give me that. He gives it to you. You can't give him money unless you're getting him to buy you something. And he's not going to buy you anything. <laughs> he's not smart. You're still his copper? I'll <laughs> <laughs> oh, whisper in his ear talk later. <laughs> So, so Cordar will take he, a look down the rest of the corridor. Yes, corridor. master. Love you, master. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not having this head. Oh, he's even 10 feet away here. Ah! Yep. Yeah, roll wheel, so. No, I'm not. Higher than 16. Kinky Sierra will also need to make one. Yeah, Kinky Sierra will. Hey, funny story, funny. It's 15. Well, you got disadvantage on all rolls for a day. When you're within 10 feet of squirt. Okay. While I'm within? or While you're within. Okay. Do I feel any effect? Uh, no, you're just a lot clumsier. P yeah. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, Victor, can you roll a d20 will save, please? What the hell? Why? You just roll just it? I've cast it. Okay. Uh, 11. Oh, will save. Wait, uh, let me check my bonus. Uh... We'll... Wait, where do I write? Oh, okay. Where do I write my wheel save? Well, oh, here. Plus eight. Is that fairly high? Okay, 19 total. You feel nothing. And I might get Jeremy to do his roll as well, just because he'd been within at that point. A wheel save? Wait, yeah. Why are we rolling wheel Don't saves? Don't worry about it. Yeah, you'll be fine. Uh, where am I? Da, 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 da. Uh, 17. Uh, and and then you'll need to roll one for the crow and one for the um, leashy. Oh, jeez, my leashy. Uh, Crazy. my leashy has my my wheel saves, right? Yes. Yes, yeah, so you're fine. Oh, uh, he actually got a total 20, so better than me. Oh. No, just wanted to make sure. Just just for the okay, DM. Okay, so um, uh, then we um uh. So you, you've seen Corda jump all the way across, no problems. You, you, you've handed the coin back, and you've got another nine rounds of Kangasero um, uh, chanting. Corda, I've taken a look further down the corridor to see if there's anything coming in that direction. Okay. Corda, do you want us to cross this? Because I can't see that happening. So heading down there, you see the intersection that you had seen earlier um, to the north. Okay, yep. So and we've, come, we've come back. And some stairs going south, which you hadn't gotten to. Uh, so we can like uh circumvent this room for the other way, right? You could technically go the other way. Oh, it's better. And uh, you would need to jump back. And, and, and you would know <laughs> that um, uh, uh, either Corda would have to wait for you, or Corda is pretty much trapped. No, uh, Corda will basically need to jump back. 
But I say, uh, or, or I say, if you were planning on circumventing the whole room, then I could just wait for you on this side. But how do I know the way? Okay. I would know this. So I'm not a character would know this. So I'll leave it up to the other two to answer this question. Uh, you are you are like uh, well, screaming but, for the other side. Oh, but no, no, no. Okay, okay. Okay. Kordag <laughs> just he, he's left over to the other side there. So therefore, we've got monitoring on that side while you're doing your investigation or whatever it is with this trap or pillars. So, and so, so they're, they're discussing this while you're while you're doing all your chanting, gesturing, and um, uh, calling on to your um, primal powers. So uh, you, you're sort of a little distracted while doing so. Okay, so has anyone, so you've got another five rounds at least until um, Kangasero finishes his um, spell. Yeah, no way, I'm jumping. Okay. You're just going to sit and wait for him to finish? Okay. Well, okay, Cordite will basically go to the intersection. There's only one minute, man. Directions. Okay, so um, well, it's still fire, uh, It's still ten rounds of them doing stuff. Yep. I'll have cast Disrupt Undead on Kangasero. The spell goes through. Okay. You did you did that before. He, 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 Nothing he, happens. He just keeps he checking. Just had to make sure, you know. Uh, and, and then you get your spell off. What is the target of your spell? You get only you only get to target one thing. Wait me? Yes. Sorry. Kangasera, Kangasera. <laughs> I was with you. What, what are you game? investigating? So Kangasero, your spell goes off. What are you targeting? One of the pillars. One of the pillars. Sorry. Which one? Uh, the right one. So the, the the one with the single woman or the one with the seven robed figures? The woman. Okay. Uh, yes, it's magical. And it is a uh, transmutation magic. Hmm. I say, uh, actually, guys, div uh, divination magic. Actually, this is a uh, this is divination uh, enchanted pillar thing. And then you spell uh, ends. Wait, I believe you can. Is what you, you can only do one thing with your spell. Yeah, one object. Yeah. And you've picked your one object. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This pillar, this one, uh, is one of the left with the pretty lady. This is a uh, transmutation spell. Active on this pillar. Oh, it was. Well, uh, cast prestidigitation. Yes, yep. And what do you do? Victor, can you make a perception roll? Why? Right. Just, just do. Okay. It. Uh, total twenty-two. Would he see something on his back? No. Never mind. Yeah. Oh, shit. Um. That's 10 Are you guys so. testing? Uh, yes, you do see you do see something appear on Kangas Arrow's back. What did what appeared? Druid suck written on his clothes. <laughs> yeah, squirt saw that too. Squirt points vampire. Yeah, that's right. Thanks, Squirt. I I, I I put up the high five signal for Squirt. So. He he high threes you in return. That's good. See, we're working. On it. We're getting better. <laughs> Okay, we can just like uh, go around and and uh, pick up uh, Odar yeah. later. Koda, we'll pick you up around the other side. I yell out. Uh, is there a locked door? Uh, no, there are. Do, there... do I need to like? You do know that there are locked doors between you and Koda if you go the other way. Yeah, let's go there. I'm I'm not leading because I don't know this other direction. So you guys do. So. Okay, uh, give me a. Um... Uh, another intelligence check to see if, what you remember of the room you're heading towards. Oh, jeez, why? Um, uh, King Gisera. Why? I'm a good tracker, you know. Uh, no, no, this, is, this is your memory of what, you've, what you know about the place already. Yeah, but if we went there, I know. I, I no, have no, no. Not, not your memories, the memories of whatever it is that possessed you. Yeah, man, but I have tracking. <laughs> the, the, the I am a, I am a, I am a good he's tracker. Not asking, he's not asking what Kangasero remembers. See, I'm the tracker too, he's asking know. whatever it is that's possessed Kangasero. I'm experienced tracker. Let him know about. Me. 
I roll it eight, so my test total is seven. Okay, so uh, you re remember um, uh, something about a test, and that's it. Uh, we are dodging all Martin straps tonight, I, I must say. And this is, this is a good day. Well, it would even be funnier if none of them were traps, but you thought they were? No, all of these are traps, I know this is. Uh, there's the Devil's Toy, there's the Summoning Vampire Portal, and this is the Pillars of Death. Okay, <laughs> and so leaving uh, Korda behind you... Um... You uh, walk around a long passageway that seems to loop all the way around and back, and you find yourself in a circular uh, room with uh, a curving balcony on the um, far side um, and stairs um, going up to it about 10 feet, above, uh, and you are 10 feet below the curved balconies. Okay, how about the other, or the other people? Who, they all left of the room or they follow? Well, I've never, I've never been this way, so I'm, I'm following you, Victor. And yeah. uh, how about uh, Bella? Yeah, good luck. Oh. Bella's just been laughing at people this whole time. He's not really sure what's going on. Yeah, but are you laughing and following? Okay, so or just... it, it, oh, yeah, following in the area below, you can see uh, two creatures. Uh, you can make a uh, religion roll if you wish to. Uh, okay. See, religion. Religion plus four. Uh, uh, oh, Where did they 22. go? Where did they go? Uh, so, um, were they going back through the main entrance way and coming down? No. So basically, uh, so this was the main entryway. They went down. There's the two pillars. Yeah, and then, I, then I jumped across and I said, oh, this is the way we came from the other direction. So you can go back to the the main entrance, I don't know about you, and then right come back here. down the room who already come through. And then Kangasara kept saying he knows another way around, so he let, he led them this way. Oh, uh, goody. That's 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 where I uh, uh, I, I knew the mistake was. I don't know because I've okay. never been this one. So I don't know because I've never been this way, so I'm just putting it out there. They blame me for this one. Yeah, it's not it's uh, not your fault. I'm sure it's not your fault. But, uh, uh, but how about Belaf? Belaf knows that we uh, we weren't here before. Belaf's preparing the invisibility spell. <laughs> so what did, not. what did you get 16, on your 16? Yeah. And 20 for Kangasero. Yeah. You recognize I got that you recognize um, two devils in the um, uh, area in front of you and two imps up on the um, balcony above looking down. Uh, uh, wrong room. Can we uh, backtrack? Or they just uh, and, see us. And uh, basically, a as you um, notice them, they seem to notice you as well. We may not be able uh. to, Victor. Okay, Martin. Yep. Corda, having noted that the the, uh, the the bobbing of light went the wrong way down the corridor, he'll wait a few minutes, minutes to see whether or not they recover and go back the right way. And <laughs> assuming they don't, he'll then aim to try and jump back across the, 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 the hallway again. I'd say that's a pretty solid assumption. <laughs> Based on our previous attempts of stuff, I'd say that's a very good... So, so the, the hard thing is, whenever they get within, with more than 20 feet from you, you can't see them. Oh, that's right. You didn't we only get a range of 20 berries. feet vision on this, don't we? You do. You didn't have enough berries. Unle unless we've got Kangakiro nearby. That is correct. He's the one who can see more than 20 feet. Yep. Okay. Oh, well then, I don't know that you've gone the wrong way. So, um... Because <laughs> you disappear even before you've got, you've taken, you, you miss the turn off back to the front door, so... <laughs> so, you see what you believe to be, um, two accuser devils, uh, which are, fit, are a lot stronger than you guys are. And they look like a baby with the, um, uh, uh, bottom half of it being that of a fly with some wings in its back. And basically, mandibles um, coming out of its mouth. Uh, across the devils. Uh, I remember those from Dude. Pathfinder One. Bellas, in very yeah. quiet, they were nasty. Says, "Do not fight. Run if we have to." And then yells out mm. to the accused. And um, and while you're saying that, um, you, you hear a um voice coming through. Bellas, we've heard of you. I am heard. But of 
course you have. You have come to oh, fight. Sister... Five? Sister no. Judevas are talking. Do not uh... fight those unwell, those far too worthy of fighting. The uh, the scum that we found before, they died. You bring someone to fight? No, no. Why would you want to fight? It's all so fighty and annoying and uncivilized. We like fighting. I know, but like this, it's you, so you, you get power from what you kill. What are you? Oh, yes, I know that. What are you doing here, anyway? I'm stuck. Why? How are you stuck? Why don't you just leave? Can't leave. Why? Can't open doors. Do you have opposable thumbs? Doors don't open. Oh, that's true. Well, I got some good news for you. Do your deal. I hear. We like deals. I know. You, you hear from over the balcony? Deal? Deal? <laughs> Mine? Mine? Deal, deal. Deal. And so suddenly you find yourself surrounded by um, four devils. The question I'd have oh, for you. Is do you know the way out? No. Do you have anything of worth that you could offer to me? Yes. Like what? We promise not to kill you right now. If you killed me, you'd never get out. But then we would have your soul. But you'd never get out. We'll be trapped anyway, so... But if you killed me, you'd never get out. One of these other minions might be able to help us out. No. I'm sure we could scare them into helping us. No. Because if I die, they die. Are you bound to them? One of them is bound to one of them. One of them might not be bound to the other. But the fact of the matter is, is that if I die, they die. Squid is hanging on really hard to my leg right now. See, he's got a long support for intimidation right now. Uh, <laughs> That was a bit of a deception. And then we're seeing they're all in Infernal, so you've been hearing Infernal speech all around you. Uh, that was a 25 on deception. Okay, let's see if they can pierce your deception. Apparently, um, they believe you fully. Yes, okay, so uh, how many of them can we kill? None, because if I die, they die. And if they die, we all die. Even that little one. You cannot <laughs> kill the toys. You cannot eat the toys. They are required. And if you kill any member of our party, no one gets out. Don't worry, we have things other than death. But you don't get out. So, what deal are you offering? Well, the question is, what deal are you offering? You're the one who needs to give me something in order for you to get out, because we can. Hmm. It thinks for a bit, yes. So, service for a service. I can do that. Service for a service, but you will not take anything from us other than us potentially releasing you. The service is releasing us. But that is the only thing we offer. And we don't offer to release you. We offer to open some of the doors that we pass through. An offer for release. You say you know way out. I say that we can open doors. But you said way out. And yet here we are. So you're Does that change anything for you at all? So... Yeah. But, in, in that case then, service equal to how much you actually help. But you'll be helped in return. Ah, so now it's pro bono, is it? So now yes. it's however much you decide it is worth it. Yes. Well, that's a shame, because that doesn't work for me. I can open doors. Sorry. Can you? Okay, open door for us. We sure. can open doors. There is a door. He, they, they point up the uh, stairwell. Uh, show us how the door opens. No. Like I said, we can open doors. And when we decide to open doors, we will pass through them. The question is, will you be there to follow us? We can always be there. Then what's it worth to us? Uh, at which point they all disappear. Tink, 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 tink. And you hear a voice saying, we'll be watching. <laughs> You may be long-lived, but 
Oh, Say good, you 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 make the the vampire uh, minions disappear. Great. Angus Arrow, if you speak another word, I will beat you to within an inch of your life. <laughs> Stop talking now and until I tell you you can. Uh, Angus Arrow just uh, scratch his head and uh, thinks that the, uh, this must be important somewhat. Your, your, your crow tells you doesn't <laughs> like them. They don't like us either. They've been here too long. Yes, they don't like us and I don't like them. And I'm not going to let them out for free. So we're just going to have to wait. How long are you willing to wait? Till I die. <laughs> Hello? Hello? I'm, I'm keeping an eye on Squirt very close to make sure it's close to me. Oh. Sorry, you mean food? Keep an eye on Squirt, not food, because if I say food, things happen. So, um, and I'm just, just being very mindful, and if I feel I need to pull out that my ghost touch dagger, I will. So, because I'm, I said, no. Actually, you know what? We don't lose anything by showing that we can open doors. We should probably throw, we should probably find Cordar. And then uh, Cordar shows up. I know that's right, he wasn't, he was waiting because you couldn't see what had happened yep. to them. Let's go find Cordar and go back the way we came. Okay. So you find yourself back to the corridor where Cordar is just sitting down waiting for you. Uh, and now with a confused stop, look at his face saying, Stop. When you go the stop, other way. Stop. Don't say a word. Shush. And I, and I do this whole same thing too. Cordar, listen to me. We are being tracked and followed and listened to and watched by some very, very powerful devils. Who killed them? Who can... <laughs> Korda, listen to me and don't talk. We are being followed by some very powerful devils. And then you died it. I, I, I didn't knew that uh, devils uh, serve our vampires. Who cannot... <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't hear that bit. <laughs> well, this is your speciality. If I had a guillotine, all of you would be gone. We are being followed by some very powerful devils. A couple of not very powerful devils. Who really are just weakness. The embodiment of weakness. You see, imps, they're not very smart or very clever or very good at anything. Anyway, uh, they can't open doors. Yeah, it sounded like there was someone at the door, so I'm going to have a quick look. Keep going. Um, they can't open doors, and so they have decided... They have decided to follow us, unseen. But I don't know about you, but I don't feel like being followed by some wimpy sluggish, stupid imps. Uh, you, you do hear some cackling from behind you. Well, you see, imps are the jokes of the devil world. Um, Pl uh, Plumman, sorry, Plumman, Bellath is going to continue to explain just how useless and garbage and shit imps are. So I don't you understand. What's going you're, on. you're saying that you don't want to go through the door back to the entrance again. I'm saying that there are very smart devils that are watching us that could potentially help us profit from them escaping from this terrible place, but also are unseen and unheard, and if we open a door, they will come through with us. At least the smart ones will. The imps, I imagine, have probably been left behind because they've been too stupid to know what's going on anyway. Okay, okay give me a perception roll. Fantastic. Okay. With disadvantage for Bella. Kordar will uh, step back from the um, the the uh, entryway to this room, that, like with the runes, because I assume we're calling across this room at the moment. Yep. Um, so he can again get a bit of a running start and he'll look to try and jump back over to their side. 19. Mm -hmm. 26 away. 
Oh, well. Well, but this time he doesn't make it. So what did you get? Uh, where am I? A total of 14 feet. Okay, so, so you, land, you land 14 feet right onto the runes. Yep. And nothing happens. Okay. He will be aiming to effectively keep moving anyway, even though he's fallen short. He'll be... Momentum will take him across the room. So. And you're out of the room very quickly. You're obviously too quick for whatever trap there was. Apparently. So. Nothing would fire and go over my head. I catch it. Okay, so... <laughs> Uh, Balaf is how about we, in, in his how about mind, we, he, he's offered a uh, boon if you leave them out from one of the imps because he's not saying it out loud he's only offering it to you traditionally imps are how powerful are imps uh, imps are um, some of the lower end ones so you, you technically hold more power than an imp does but um, imps are, um, are able to actually provide power Whereas most other creatures can't. What about the weird, creepy baby monsters? The baby monsters don't provide power. They just eat things. They are a curse, a curse of devils. They're like a powerful devils. Kangasaro, don't speak about things you um, don't know of. I did a 26 on sleight of hand mm -hmm. after the perception roll. And if, if they see what I'm doing, then I'll tell you what it is. So okay. Just give me something out of my backpack. You know, you should probably just tell them anyway, because... Push comes to shove. Okay, so... Uh, perception to roll to of... Oh, uh, 26. <laughs> I get a thunderstone out of my back. Mm -hmm. Ooh. A lesser one, because I do have two sick anyway. And just, just... And that's why I'm using that, just to perception where they are, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. and, and giggles and all that kind of stuff. That's why I did the perception first. So I was like, just in case we have to... Um, Make a dash so, so in your head, you also hear uh, a, a, a horrible voice going, uh, if you were to uh, lead me out of the uh, this dungeon complex, I will give you a um, boon to make your life easier. Unlike all the curses that gods give you, devils give you boons. It is true. Generally at a very, very hefty price. I, at the moment, have too many things on me right now, and I don't feel like going in this direction is a good thing for a female. So, so, while they don't reply, I just smile. <laughs> you just smile? I don't smile, but I don't actually reply. Balath replies. Well, you can, you can reply in your head. Can I reply in my head? I yeah. said, nothing you can give me will benefit me. Balath replies. Uh, what were the name of the baby well, monsters? Uh, uh, the baby monsters were for the accuser devils. Kill the accusers and I'll let you out for free. And uh, Kangasero. Uh, uh, do, uh, do we all hear that? Uh, no, you, each, you hear something different. So you, you hear the um, buzzing um, voice in your head uh, offering you a uh, pact of servitude. If uh, you're willing to um, lead um, uh, the devils out. Fuck. Yeah, but uh, I, I reply, like, uh, I don't do deals with uh, vampire minions. Sorry. Uh, it, 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 it agrees. Vampire minions are the worst. So why are you traveling with one? Uh, and, and, I mean, and, and, why and, and, you are and, traveling? And it, and it describes the crow. I look at the at, at Bella's crow. It's nice and like, ready to look at it. I I just like stare at at, at the crow. And it's staring at you too. Time. And it turns its head and says it with the other eye. Then it turns its head and says it with the other eye. And then it sharpens its beak um, on one of its claws with this grinding sound of uh, metal on metal. I fucking love this crow. <laughs> oh, no. I'm, I just feel another bad minion coming down. Its name is Grinkle. Um. And then, uh, Jeremy, as you reach the others, you hear a, a, a buzzing voice in your head going, uh, Welcome, hero of Sandpoint. <laughs> Tricky fucking devils. Uh, 
Would, would you like uh, some assistance in your quest? If so, um, just uh, agree to this uh, proposal and uh, you will receive assistance if you uh, assist uh, me in leaving this place. So, Korda is using a seek action yep. to attempt to spot invisible creatures. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. You got um, Bellat's reply? Not yet. Ah. Oh. And, as I say, if he gets any indication, even if it's a commodious indication, he will <laughs> swing his sword in the direction that he believes there might be an invisible devil. <laughs> Shit. Bellat takes five steps back. Well, we don't know Johnny yet, so... <laughs> I know that dumb heroic look on Cordar's look on face. <laughs> okay, so it didn't come through on Facebook. So oh no 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 no! I actually told you. I said, um, oh. Bella said, oh, kill okay. kill the accusers, yeah. Yeah. and uh, I'll let you out. Oh okay, so it, it did hear that, and, and it just laughs at you. Okay, if the accusers are killed, it will um, consider the contract undone. Kill the accusers, and we will open doors. Says done. Uh, he orders the accusers to attack. Um, uh, you, you hear him uh, visibly say, uh, a "Attack the um, uh, the jumping one." Uh, well, who is the jumping one? Yes, oh, uh, you, you, you all hear um, a um, voice say, attack the jumping one, as uh, Korda sees two um, shadowy figures start moving towards him uh, with his perception roll. And I'm okay. going to call initiative at that point. Cool. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, here is where we die. 21 all to those, Korda. All those traps we missed. And now we are fighting devils. Well, that's because you took a wrong turn. You didn't go back the way you were supposed to go. <laughs> yeah, but... So, uh, how much did you get? 21. Don't block. How much did King Sarah get? Okay, let me roll. How much did Bellas oh, get? 19. Jeez, uh, total 10. <laughs> uh, the, the, that bird really is distracting. Mark? 20. 20. Okay. Yeah, I was too distracted with the uh, vampire bird. Apparently, my computer is seeing everything he's thought at the moment. Have you noticed that it's frozen? You use Dex. Dex Normally, or I think you use strength for throwing weapons. I'll have to use Dex if you Okay. Uh, the imp goes on. <laughs> Do, oh, imp's going pretty well. Oh, for fuck's sake. Why does Microsoft keep changing how things work? Because they want to keep you on your toes. Yeah. I don't know. Ask Mark. They yeah, haven't got the job yet. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll separate. I'll just say RT of him. I'm so used to just dragging and um, dro uh, moving initiative around so it works without any problems. It's, it said, oh, you can't drag and drop anymore. Great. <laughs> so that, that, that's that's my swearing off, because I've been using this like that for over uh, 10 years now. Mm -hmm. just, just, just for that, um, on one note. 365, or? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think we have the same thing work. And they decided to change how it works, because obviously that was a functionality they no longer needed. Not bitter at all, no. Okay, uh, so I should bring that over this way a bit. And uh, first person up is the imps. Not actually a person, but okay. Okay, so. Okay. Pimwinkle, what is your armor class? Armor class? 
Hopefully, um, hi. Nice change. Okay, so 27 <laughs> is definitely a hit. Not a crit, but that's good. <laughs> Not a crit. Uh, so he does... Where are my fours? Galath hadn't got around to telling Cordar about the effects of cold iron or silver on devils and demons, did he? He had not. Oh. Okay, so uh, you take um, uh, one piercing damage, mm -hmm. followed by three evil damage, and then you need to make a fortitude saving throw. Oh, wow. 24. 24. Okay. Uh, so that is a, a second action of ZM. And for its uh, third action, uh, it appears next to you and then it turns into a, a raven identical to what's on Ballast's shoulder. That's cool. Okay. The other imp um, goes after Kangasera. Uh, oh. And um, what's your armor class? Oh, my <laughs> uh, 19, if I'm 19. not with the shield raised. So yeah, um, still... he, he, he got a um, 10 downgraded. So that means it's one off a card critical miss. Yeah, right. not quite, a, not quite a, a super critical miss. <laughs> so it, it basically <laughs> uh, uh, lands at Kangasero's feet. And as King Zero looks down at it, it looks like an identical crow to what's on Baldur's shoulder as well. So now the really disconcerting thing was the fact they've got plus nine on the attack rolls. <laughs> okay. Then we're up to Corda. Uh I will... So if there, the, uh, there were two coming towards me... There were. Um, are they in melee range of me right now? Uh, no, they haven't actually um, gotten to you yet. So how far away are they? Uh, you think that they are about a uh, ten feet? Mm hmm. Uh. So I will uh, use an action to raise my shield. Yep. And then another action to lunge forward and, and attack the uh, the square. Okay, so well they become visible apparently, haven't they? Well, my school just getting them apparent image, but yeah. So. They're not visible yet, but um, you can see where they're moving through because uh, they're. They, they basically are making the area around them. Um, okay. So, so do I, well, do, do, do you need a flat check to see if I hit them in the point? You so. will not need a flat check because okay. uh, you can well. even hear them. Uh, 14. Uh, AC 25. AC 25 is a hit. Yeah, where am I? 2d8. So a whole 12 points of damage. Magical slashing damage. Okay, so uh, you, you you lunge at it and you don't think uh, it's all going through. Mm-hmm. Okay, so... Okay, so you strike at one, uh, and, and the other then... one is also win within the same reach. Yep, okay. I will take another lunge. Mm-hmm. And see if I... Oh, we're going for the same one, so... Uh, 16, uh, 27, 22. 22 is a hit. For 10 points of magical slashing damage. Okay. And for your thir third action? Uh, no, the first action was raising my shield. Yeah, that's right. First so. action. So you got your shield up and going, then Pinwinkle. Yep. You've got a bird on your shoulder. Did, did, the, did it look, did it feel like that second blow did... It still did some damage, even yeah. though probably less than normal. I felt like it did some damage. So okay. He's taking something in the air, isn't he? Yeah. I can't see it. Oh, you can see blood splur uh, well, Ica, um spurting out where from where he is. Where is he compared to me? Uh, he's, um... He's in flanking. Am I flanking? 
You can. Well, I'm not, I, I'm not actually next to them at the moment because they lunge forward to hit them. But would I fly the other flanking? That's what I'm asking. Yes, you can I guess, I guess, I guess, I guess you, you, know, you can't flank if you, you can't see. I do have one on me. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do first, I'll put the bomb away because they're too close now. Yeah. So that's one action. I pull out both daggers. As a second action? Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and you're not flanking unless you move. And whatever's close to me that I can hit. Dig? I know where his dagger sits, so I'm not silly, so I'm just going to um, but I'm trying to, so, but because I've got the double ring, mm -hmm. I've got a silver dagger and a ghost touch dagger, mm -hmm. so I'll get the, it's cross kind of. So Only goes one way. Is it? Yeah. Depends which way I put it. Yeah, it depends on which hand you drew. We're going to have to roll dice to do so. Okay, zero to ten, I pull the ghost dagger out into the main hand, Yeah. and the other way I pull the silver dagger in the main hand. Well, silver dagger's the main hand, so okay. it's like, so, so, we'll give an option, so, because I wouldn't have, would have checked which one pulled out. So I've got silver dagger. Mm -hmm. Now, um, I do get the plus one bonus from the other thing. This is going to double check out. Like, this one, first one, use the double ring, so. I no, because it's the other way around. So it's just the silver dagger, so it's plus eight. So. Ooh, 12? 12. Okay. Uh, going forward, give me a. Um, oh, no, you, you do miss. Okay. It's not a critical miss, but That's you do what, miss. Okay, okay. And, yeah, I'm just trying to protect Splat as much as I can, so where I think things are. So mm -hmm. I don't say it out loud for obvious reasons, I don't even say in my mind, but I'm just trying to make sure between me and. Yeah. and That's all I can do. Okay, uh, Splat throws his dagger, give him disadvantage on a throw. Yeah. Squirt. Squirt, sorry. Yeah, Splash is much more capable. Yeah, I know. So, dagger. Okay, and this. And disadvantage, eh? Yep. Better than me. 14 total. Okay, it bounces off something. He managed to hit it with the bad side of the dagger, so it does just bink! Clatter, clatter, clatter. Hang on, do you have to roll a will save as well? That's technically, I've, I'm, I've, he, he generally fails his will save before morning. No. no, do they have to roll a will save? Uh, it's creatures in the aura become unlucky. Is that, but he was throwing it, so I was assuming he didn't move cool. into it. That's what I just thought I'd say. Um, um, yeah. Mm. No, he hasn't got, he hasn't got Benjamin Anchor. Okay, so. Uh, no, I don't think he's still too busy. Not really. Cool. Bella, you're up. What's the last question? Well, I just so you, you see two plans that have failed at the same time. You, you see uh, three identical crows. They all look like your. The other two uh, imps look like your crow. Briefly mouth the Grinkle. If you leave my shoulder, you'll probably get killed. Preferably don't. Grinkle does whatever Grinkle does. Mm -hmm. Balath briefly explains the weaknesses of devils and the devils. They're devils, right? Devils, devils, yes. Yeah. Briefly explains the weaknesses of devils, which is uh, they are weak to um, good effects. Good effects does more damage to them, so it actually has to have the good descriptor. Or um, silver. Silver reduces their uh, physical immunity to damage. If you hit. <laughs> That's why I did roll it because I thought I didn't know. I just think. Come in. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jeremy's finding something, right? Yep. You you, you can see the echo going everywhere from the uh, uh, accuser devil he hit. And you see, I got hit by. And the buzzing. Um, so there's this um, uh, small size um, uh, human baby bee. Um. Well, small size as in... Yes. Uh, Bal size of Pimwinkle. Balath casts Divine Lance yep. at the accuser that Jeremy is fighting. Yep. 
Yeah, attack well against the target's AC. So he has a will save? No. Uh, not yet, at the very least. Where the fuck? Oh, it's right. That's where it is. Boop, boop. Yeah, I'm just looking for the. Yeah, plus eight. 18 to hit versus the AC. 18 misses. Yep, yeah, that's cool. Next is. Okay. Oh, and uh, Belath draws out a piece of paper. Okay. No, he doesn't. Never mind. <coughs> Go on. Oh, yeah, with his last action, he grabs Grinkle. Mm -hmm. So Grinkle doesn't fly off? Mm -hmm. You know he wants to. He wants to, show the, he wants to show the Yimsu's boss. Okay, so the accuser devils go. Uh, first one um, um, manifests and tries to um, bite. Uh, Hello. Uh, they went already, right? Uh, doesn't mean no, no, uh, the, the last one is can The imps have gone already. These are the big guys. Okay. So the imps are tiny, the babies are medium. So the, the insect baby attacks Korda and hits an armor class of 21. 21 will miss. Okay. Well, you are good at defending us. It has a second attack at you with its final action and it hits a armor class of 21. Still missed. <laughs> okay. Uh, the <laughs> other one um, uh, flies past Cordar, provoking a attack of opportunity. Which Cordar will take? Uh, Please hit. I see 22. 22 is a hit. Uh, for 8, 12, 17 points of magical slashing damage. Okay, and then he comes around to flank you. You didn't use a silver weapon, Jeremy? No. You. Yeah. He, he hasn't been told about the effect he, of silver on he, Devil's yet. He hasn't had his action since then, and he's doing a reaction instead of an action. Yeah. Oh, sorry. So, so, so Bella has said silver's good, has he? Yeah. Correct, yeah. Right, okay. <laughs> but you. But yes, he hasn't had a chance to change weapons yet, so. Okay, and he comes around and attacks you from behind. Uh, giving you, giving him flanking, and so he hits armor class 22. But 22 will hit. And I think it goes up by a little bit because of the um, flanking part, and does uh, minimum damage. That's nice. Of uh, four. Mm. Four piercing, plus four evil. Mm. Are these things back up punch? Yeah. I don't remember how many HP do I have. And oh, you are, oh, no, you are half, rested. You have a half dead. No, and you haven't rested. Korda has to make a fortitude saving throw. You are oh. half dead, then we have a problem. Well, uh, where am I? Fortitude 19. Okay. And uh, that's the end of his turn because he had to um, move and attack. Okay. Okay. That brings us to Kangasero at the bottom of the list. You have a um, devil bird at your feet. There's a devil bird on Pinwinkle and there's a devil bird on um, uh, Balath. A devil bird that is currently uh, being forced to not leave. Okay. Uh, he He's on my feet. He have any disadvantage to be thrown. Uh, down here. Well, uh, I will give you um, a plus two to attack the one at your feet. Oh, nice. All right, then I will rage myself uh, as a barbarian, but not really. I will pull my claws out with one action. Then I will try to strike the thing, like cut his head off. Okay. Uh, woo! Oh, 17. So, plus who? will be pretty high. 17, 28, 30 total. 30 total, you critically hit. Damn. Jeez. 
Man, I, I probably uh, clip his head off. We'll find Five. out. <laughs> Roll down again. Uh, uh, 13 damage plus 2, right? Uh, you don't get to uh, add 26 the, damage. You don't get to add the 2 to the... Oh, yeah, by 2, yes. I said times 2. Yeah. Times 2, 26. Two, two. Okay, so... Minus... I'm sure. So you do 23 damage all up to it, and it um, bursts in a uh, bit of fire. Boosh. Ah! And, you see, like, uh, uh, I guess Sarah doing it on an heroic pose as he as it boosts, regulates the... As it goes boom in a bit of fire, um, you gain um, uh, one to your maximum um, hit dice. Uh, to, no, one to your maximum hit points. Yeah. Okay. As you gain, I don't um, remember how many how many hit points I have left. I don't you take notes? Sorry. Sorry, this should be my job, but uh, I didn't take notes. Sorry. Last session you were on 15 out of... It uh, should be 15 out of 36. So now it should be 15 out of 37. Okay. Yes. Uh, in the last section, I will raise my wooden shield. I say wooden shield because I don't know if it catch fire because the devil goes boom. There's a bit of a singe, oh, but yeah. it is fine. So, uh, the, imp, the <laughs> other imp gets to go. Okay. Okay, it, it pecks at your um, face trying to get your eye. My? Uh, Pinwinkles. Okay. Okay. Uh, his armor class 20. Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, does one point of piercing damage. Yep. How much uh, None. Oh, okay. That's right. It's currently as a bird. And no fortitude roll? And birds are never evil. Just ask Ballet. No fortitude roll. <laughs> birds are very evil. Just ask Ballet. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, then it turns into a uh, medium-sized um, giant spider on your shoulder. So it's now twice your size. Why? Because you're a small creature. Yeah, would be. Uh, uh. And uh, as you drop to the ground, it um, um, uh, tries to bite you. And that one would be a uh, armor class of nine, <laughs> but oh, as you'd be down by two for being yeah, this prone. this yeah. Yeah, Russia, this things can transform pretty quickly, right? Uh, uh, imps can change shape um, with a single action. Yes, and they it's are faster sh- than, than than me. They are shape changes. Well, they are natural shape changes. Yeah. You are learning it. Okay, so that's the um, remaining imp. Corda, you're up. You now see that there's okay. a there are the two baby things flanking you. Okay. The Pinwinkle, um, was, that... Pinwinkle was trying to provide some flanking until he got sat on by a giant spider out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. The the one that went past me and that I managed to get a good blow in at. Yep. Uh, was it the same one that? I'd actually stabbed a couple times, or no, they're now both slightly wounded? They are, they're both slightly wounded. Okay. Uh, well, I'll probably... Uh, I'll, I'll stick with the one that went past me first of all. Uh, mm-hmm. And uh, take the swing. Uh, 7 AC 18. AC 18 misses it. Surprising. Um... I will. Du, 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 du. Yep. He cries at you with a buzzing noise. Okay. I see 23. 23 hits. Uh, for seven, 11 points of magical slashing damage. He still hasn't changed weapon yet because when you surround it, not the time to actually drop and pull out its pieces. So. Um, um. <laughs> He'll then use his third action to maintain his gray shield. Okay. Then it is uh, Pinwickle. You got a big spider on you trying to bite you. So I can't move right now. I can't like. You, you can uh, escape from it, can but it'll be an action. Yes, yeah, so if I want to get up from prone. You cannot get up from a prone unless you move from your square. Yes, yeah, so if I move from a square, then I provoke. Oh. If it if it does it provoke, mm-hmm. which I don't know yet. You don't know. <sighs> 
being prone and, and lifting up doesn't provoke attacks of opportunity, right? Yeah, before it before it did in Pathfinder one, but I don't I don't remember if Pathfinder two does. Uh, it's the action that does it that provokes, and it, as it's considered a manipulate um, to move something, then yes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But whether it has a attack attack opportunity or not, I didn't say. Um, but you can just stab at it. I'm just stab at it. Okay. You are the mighty Sam. I'm going to use my half of luck. Yep, that was a one. No, that was pretty shit. Better. Um, that's... Uh, it stands on move action. 18 is a hit on the imps. Silver dagger? So, yep. Which it doesn't do much anyway. Um, I could all, it wouldn't be flying flat-footed, so I wouldn't get any sneak attack. Woohoo! Max damage! Watch. Eight! Eight. Okay, uh. Strikes him quite hard and it screams. Ah! I'm gonna roll again. Mm hmm. A few off this at one day. Ah! Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Um. It's a 10 total. 10 total? Yeah. Not a group miss. I know, because I thought, yeah, yeah. So, Third action. Third action. I'm going to move and stand up. So. Okay. And Give me a uh, acrobatics roll. Okay, can do that. This one's good uh, I have a quick rules question. I don't yeah. know if I, if I ask now or just how to the finish, uh, the table finish. 26. 26. You managed to get up and stand beside it without it stopping you. So what was your quick rules question, Victor? Uh, stand is a move action. So if it's not a manipulate action, does it uh, provoke attacks of opportunity? It, it does, unless you're doing the, unless you're doing a five-foot step, all move actions provoke an attack of opportunity. If you have the move in it, um, it is a provoking action. Uh, as, right. is, as is any manipulate, as is um, any concentrate action. So if you do any of those actions, you are provoking an attack of opportunity by doing it next to something. Where's um, Squirt's Dagger? Squirt's Dagger is a little bit off to the side. It's off this thing. Yeah. Yeah, he's not going anywhere near that. Well, he, he, he attacked it and he looked at you, looked at it, looked at you. And, I'm, and I haven't seen anything to stop, so... Ah, he, he jumps on it. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Give him a uh, athletics roll. What the fuck? Master's been attacked. Must save Master. I'm really used to this. Athletics, eh? Yep. I've got nothing in athletics. So That's okay, so out. with disadvantage. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Do we have any heroic points or anything like that? Jam point? Uh, we do have... Um, we, do um, we have six today. Oh, that's a lot. You should be using the this stuff. Uh, I I don't I don't think we have been using those on on the last uh, couple Fuck. of sessions. Yeah, no. I don't carry over Holy different shit. sessions. What do you get? Two twenties. Yeah, I know they don't carry, but we we are using. Uh, it is um strength based. Or well, I can do dex or strength. I'll give you my. Yeah, there'd be use if you want to. Nineteen total. Nineteen total. Okay, uh, I'm just going to give it to him. He has grabbed onto the um, spider and he's hanging onto it and grappling its back legs. What the fuck? Go Samwise! I'm so happy with this thing right now. Okay, uh, and I will give him a athletics check to see if he can um, pin it. Okay. Disadvantage. Use every yep. single re-roll we have to make this work. <laughs> Go. Reroll. Re re but you can't do a reroll on a disadvantage check. Or an advantage check. Okay. So that's 13 total. 13 total. Okay. Oh. And he um, brings the spider down onto its back. <laughs> I teach this. I teach this quite well. And, and the, the only thing you hear is, No, hurt master. This fight is, is getting a bit yeah, distracting. Yeah, Okay, so, um, <laughs> Belath, you've just watched The Impossible. From the depths of hell itself, Belath 
emanates the most evil and cruel laugh at the imp and says, if you try and escape, you will die and your soul will be mine. He then looks to Kordar and says, take out your silver weapon and kill them. Uh, assuming, he's going to assume that you're a willing target for his spell. And he throws a spell at Kordar. Jeremy? Is it your time to command? No, no, no. I'm giving you a diabolic edict. Mm -hmm. So if you are a willing recipient, yep. that would be fantastic. I'll do it, man. This is a vampire trick. Yeah. Don't worry. I'm sure he'll get used to following um, uh, Balas' orders. Okay. Cord, I was happy to accept the idea at this stage. You get plus one if you do attack them with your silver weapon. Uh, if you don't, you get negative one. Um, and then he looks <laughs> back to the... Fucking retard dog. Um, he looks back to the imp mm -hmm. and moves towards it. Mm -hmm. Grinkle will feed on your soul. Okay, as you say that, fuck, onto him from your shoulder. No, don't actually attack him. I need him alive. Idiot <laughs> yeah, bird. I've still got him in my hand, actually. Well, you had to cast a spell. Is there... Now, this, so we've got square here and a crow here. Uh, or, 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 or Grinkle. Grinkle there. No, it's only verbal. Component. In which case, wings are, um, you know, straining. That's exactly what I want. Uh, but... Claws, claws doing this grasping grasping. As if, he, as if he's eager to get in there and eat. Yep. <laughs> it's only Balath good will that's holding the bird back at the moment. And you can probably see it looking at the spider specifically, not him. Does he, does he see that? Because he, he has um, a self-loathing. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sort of asking. If you ever ask a will say about this, I would have wanted to try you know. Because he's scared of that. that he is. Hey, Dave. Yeah. The amusing thing is that part of the reason that, as a player, Kwan I didn't swap weapons was aside from the loss of actions and things like that. Yeah, that's five versus the uh, if they've only got if they've got I remember that's why you were doing so well. Five for the film, but like that includes six five or whatever type stuff. It's a bit of a fifty fifty job as to whether it's better with the his normal weapon or with the silver weapon. So. Yeah. As, as look, as a player, but as, as, uh, it, yeah. I'm happy to go with it. Yeah, as a, as a player, I know that. You, as a player, are playing Kordar to the greatest extent. However, as Balath... Absolutely. ...do the thing that he says because he said... Dressing is on the door should like some dressing. Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, uh, Kordar has been attacked on two sides by the yep. um, baby insects. Uh, first one does a armor class of 12 minus your uh, minus 2. So, because of um, being surrounded... Sorry, not a critical miss then. Not a critical miss. Uh, and, and he's looking at you and, and you hear a um, voice in your head going, you're more powerful than Imp said. Who said that? The, uh, uh, the baby insect that's floating in front of you who's trying to fight you. Me or Korda? Korda. Alright. Oh, because it tried to attack him and, and completely missed. Uh, blaming, Kord Kordar uh, is uh, not making any attempt to engage or be distracted by the enemy. And the one behind you is trying to attack you, getting a armor class of uh, 27. Um, no flanking this time because the one in front is too distracted. Corda uh, will use a reaction with the shield block. Okay. So, so, so you all damage. Yep. So the, 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 the. Ooh. Okay, so uh, that is 12 damage. Okay, which then goes down yes. to 7 damage. Nice. Of which... And uh, 4 evil damage. So, okay, so that was uh, 7 damage, because the right shield takes 5, um, and then... Uh, we round up or round down when you're doing halving? Uh, round down. So then we both take... Uh, three points of damage. The shield takes three, and I take three, 
Plus what was it? Four evil? And four evil. Okay, so I'm taking a total of seven damage from that attack. And the shield took three. And then you also need to make a fortitude saving throw. Uh, 14... 21. Okay, that is all good. Um, and so that's both accuser levels going. It doesn't have a second attack on you because it thought it had um, one-shot you. Mm-hmm. Oh, come on, stupid thing. I think I know what half my problem with this is, is my fingers are twitching and the mouse is responding as if I'm double-clicking. Okay, so Kangasero is now up. All right, how far are these devils for me? You have an accuser devil buzzing beside you, and one of them about um, ten feet away. If I do, if 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 he is beside me, if I do a five step uh, move, can I flank with Godar? You can, uh, except you then have to push Pimwinkle out of the way. That's right. Now Pimwinkle's not actually standing there at the moment. Uh, there, there is a big, there is a medium-sized spider with a mite on top in that spot. So there's no space you can flank for Corda right now. Or well, technically, you can be flanked on the other side. But not for five foot step. Not for five foot step. No. Okay. Then I will try to to get to the onto the other side. Okay. They don't actually um, attack you, so you, they not they don't apparently have the reaction to provoke. So yes, right. you're, you're that, flanking one of them. Now that I'm flanking, I would try to attack. Okay, second action to attack. Plus mm, nine, uh, twenty-five total. Twenty-five is a, is a hit. Normal hit, right? Normal hit. Uh, or uh, eleven total damage uh, slashing magical. I don't think this will do much. Okay, it slashes it. Uh, there is an Icaroth floating out. Uh, what do you do with your last action? I will try to slash it again. Okay. I got minus minus four because it's agile. Yep. It's false. Uh, 20! Natural 20. 29, yep, 29 minus 4. Oh, they splashed you too. Then 27 upgraded. Okay, so that makes it uh, just a normal critical hit. So double damage. Yay! Oh, damn, two. Uh, almost fell. Five. I can't like uh, speak in English and make calculations in English. That's funny. I need I need to speak Portuguese to to make the calculations. It's whatever way we learn it with. Oito onze. Eleven damage times two. Twenty-two damage. Twenty-two damage. Sorry, speaking Portuguese is because. Uh... Yeah, it's it's all good. <laughs> we don't mind. We speak English all the time, and I think that's a dick move with you around. Okay, so uh, it, it explodes in uh, more uh, ichor and a bit of um, flame, and your maximum hit points goes up by three. Yeah, this time, this was all three actions, right? So no shield, ra shield raise at this time. Man, it's I have like, hard to do. There's not actually one need, there's not one need to attack, so you don't need a shield. Okay. Okay. Man, uh, these internet dice holders are shit, man. I miss it every single attack last session. Every single one I miss it. This is the, the uh, in this time I actually hit all the attacks. Rolling the the actual dice. Okay, That's so Corda, uh, uh, not Corda, um, Balath, he's in his head from the M. Uh, what are your terms? <laughs> <laughs> they are losing, man. Serve me. Hey, hey, hey. This will be fine. Buy and be food. Um, you actually you can to, have uh, a familiar and, and other minion? Yeah, cool. uh, sorry. Uh, just like him, we cook got a minion. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, but I, I don't think you can actually have two minions. I'm hoping Grinkle will just take the soul of the imp, to be honest. Um, yeah. Yeah, that might still happen. Uh, like, but, 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 he, he uh, can follow up. It doesn't actually be a specific thing. Can I take a reroll on that one, please? You can take a reroll on that one. Yeah, I'll take that. 22. Okay, so you critically you critically succeed on your uh, intimidate roll. Nice. And you intimidate... Um, um, um. And at this point, um, uh, the uh, squirt has to make a uh, will save based on the fact that he's he's in the whole intimidate glare direction. Yeah, no, he did. He got did. A four. You got a four. Yeah, that was out loud, by the way. Okay, so he he, he uh, squirt um, shrieks and lets go of the spider. It's okay. Okay. At which, point, at which point the. Uh, uh, a uh, spider uh, flips itself over and then bows towards you. Oh, is it my turn or is it its turn? Uh, that was on your turn. My turn? No, on its turn, sorry. Yeah, cool. Then it's Cordas go. There is uh, one remaining um, baby um, bug. Okay, I will uh, drop my sword, draw out my silver hammer. Mm -hmm. The uh, hammer, hammer, the hammer. That's hammer time. Uh, um, yeah, Warhammer, Silver Warhammer, yeah. So, and attack. Um, 11. You said I had plus one on the attack roll? Correct. Yeah. Yep. Uh, AC 22. That's obviously the thing you needed because you hit. Okay, for. Uh, no action anymore. For six points of uh, Silver damage, Silver Blackening damage. Okay, it hits it a lot more soundly than your other blows have. Mm hmm. And it seems to um, uh, burn it as it hits. Very much like hitting Kangasero with silver dust. Indeed. Hey. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll try to avoid Kangasero no. on the next week. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> um, and then I will use my third action to raise my shield again. Okay. Uh... Then it is uh, Pinwinkle's go. So there's one thing left. Yeah, the, the, there is the imp and the baby demon. Do you want to do you want to take out the imp that uh, uh, was trying to bite you? Well, is the imp now bowing towards Belleth? Yeah. No, um, do you, but do you really want Belleth to get an imp? I keep a rat <laughs> so I could turn it into a rat for you. No, that would help. No, no, no. So um, I can make sure Squirts as away from both. That I just as one action I'll tell Squirt to be away from the other these two things mm -hmm. um, just which he does on after your round no, no. Um, I'll flank for his journey because mm -hmm. I still got the silver dagger right okay uh, this spider is standing in the flanking spot for Jeremy the spider the, the imp that looks like a spider that's yep. currently bowing to Balath yep so you can't get flanking okay well as long as I can just stab it right? mm -hmm. okay well I'll just give this stab it looks pretty bloody right now. It, it does. Yeah. So, no, I'm just trying to, because that's crap. <laughs> um, just do that. Um, I guess one half of my career, right? Crap, 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 crap. Yeah, that's a third, eh? 11, sorry. That's an 11. Okay, uh, Bing bounces off it. <laughs> and and that's your uh, yeah. um, one action really. Oh. I gotta move. Oh. You didn't really have to move. Okay, so I've got the other deck. Yeah, it's my offhand. So I, just with it. I believe it just doesn't give other bonuses. Uh, I'm not sure. I'd have to look at that later. But okay. I think uh, your offhand. I don't think your offhand has penalties in Pathfinder two. No, I think it just gets less damage if it was at the less. fifth end. So. I, I believe that's the fifth end of one of the other ones. Yeah. So in this one, I'm just going to go with um, it is just a penalty on attack. Okay. So. <laughs> well, you still got the silver dagger in the other in the primary hand. It just went pink. Yeah, yeah but just bounced off it. Well, I can take that one yeah. You can. Um. Fourteen. Bink. Okay. Third time lucky. Oh, 
I go, you got this, spell um, caught up. That's all awesome. yours, huh? Okay, Belleth, uh, yes, uh, it's now your turn. You've got the um, Imp as a spider um, bowing towards you. You've got uh, the other two oh. going for the the others going for the accuser devil. Squirt. Make sure he's out of it. Squirt, squirt runs over to his dagger and picks it up. Yeah, it's out of range both of them. So. Belleth mm. points to the remaining accuser and calls to Grenkel. And in one of the most hideous, demonic, horrifying... Uh, single word statements he's ever made he bellows feed mm-hmm. uh, and in doing so uses a demoralized intimidation action against the guy yeah what, what's the time nine yeah I'll take it mm-hmm. I just rolled double eights uh, is it, is it against his will saving against save? his will save 16 against his will save he, he stands up to it that's okay. And um, what does Grinkle do? A Grinkle fly is going to fly. Well, I'm, I'm going to leave that to you. Okay. But Grinkle goes over and attacks, I assume. Okay, give me an attack roll for Grinkle using yes. your attack bonus. But up, 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 up. Does it actually doesn't give me attacks. Use your attack bonus. Yeah. Ten. Ten. Okay, uh, you, you can see him um, pecking at the uh, flying creature, annoying it. Cool. Okay. Um, hang on. I still actually have... Well, he goes at the end of your turn, so... Um, well, we'll leave that to the end of the turn. Um, I'd like to cast Divine Lance on the yep. guy. Probably won't. How many Divine, Divine Lance do you have? It's a cantrip. 20. 20 is a hit? Yep. Oh. It's a perfect number. Um, but it is chaotic, chaos, chaotic damage. Do, 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 do. Uh, where is it? There we go. Oh, hang on. Did we say chaotic damage? You said Divine Lance. And yeah, good Divine Lance gives um, damage based on whatever my alignment is, uh, whatever the alignment of the power of who I take it from. And good damage does extra damage to them. Yeah, no, it's definitely not going to be good damage. I think we're well aware that a Chalaxian <laughs> casting Divine Lance is definitely not going to be doing Some good of them damage. will do good damage. Yeah, some of them nerds too. Um... <laughs> So, uh, chaotic, evil, good, or lawful? I think the devil. The, the devils are lawful evil. Yeah, I think mm-hmm. it was lawful um, that we said was the more domineering. So we'll make it lawful damage of. I don't have a d4. Can I roll a d4? Seven. Thank you. Nice max damage for a total of. Do, 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 just make sure eight damage. Eight damage. Okay. Uh, you strike it, and with that force of your uh, uh, will on it, you just see its whole thing shatter, and then get absorbed by Grinkle as Grinkle goes in and sucks it all up. Uh, your uh, hit points go up by um, maximum hit points go up by three. Cool. This probably makes it six, to be honest. Is it? No, it doesn't. That's You're up to 29 five. now, should be. 20... 29. After the last session. Oh, right, okay. Sure. They don't know. That's what I thought. That's great. That they've just been uh, uh, absorbing souls. Mm. Mm. And only one of us has any idea of the implications of this. Okay. And uh, so that, that was both your turns. Then, Kangasero, you, you see the giant spider on the ground still. You like spiders, and you know it's a it, it's the um, shape changing creature that's outperforming you in shape changing. You like spiders. This is the is spider that uh, the devil spider, the vampire Elias spider. Is trying to snatch. I will try to grab it then. Okay. Grapple. You try to grab it with your claws. Uh. I think I need to head the class. There is only this demon, right? It's a free action to already track the class. So I will already track the class and try to grab it. Mm-hmm. And you try to grapple it? Grapple it. Uh, okay. It's an athletic check, right? Okay, you're going against its, it's athletics DC. Good luck on it. 
No, uh, it's my uh, it's my athletics. He, he's acrobatic, is that it? Uh, you'll be going against his yeah. athletics. Yeah, athletics DC. Athletics DC. You can use either acrobatics or athletics. Just remember that the little mite did it. Yeah, if you can't do it, I know who's better in the party from now on. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> Yeah, see? Yes. Yeah. Well, 13 plus 7 are 19 total. Okay, yes, you, you jump on the um, spider and pin it to the ground. No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. That's your, that's, uh... Yeah, that's my whole turn, that's my whole turn. So that's two actions, you actually have a third action. Yeah, but I, I, if I am grabbing the, the damn thing, I can't do anything else. Okay, and then it is the imp's turn. Okay, uh, because, because someone's someone just grabbed it again, he twitches and tries to bite. Badly. Uh, no, because it's, it's the imp, unless King is provoking the attack from Jeremy, which I don't think so. <laughs> he provoked many things from Cordar, but actual okay. attacks? So, so what is King Cicero's armor class? Uh, 19. So, not a critical fumble. Got close. As it uh, seems to um, uh, try to um, bite you. Uh, and uh, Korda gets a uh, attack of opportunity on it as it attempts to use one of its abilities. Mm -hmm. Do I still get plus one with the weapon at the moment or can I just kill attack? Just a one. Just one? Yep. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. It's the same round, isn't it? Yep. Uh, hang on, T6. We're just checking for... Uh, duration, one of plus... Uh, performing the task. No. No, the task was to attack the other creature. Okay, cool. Have Does he get the... Um, I mean, he gets a minus one because he's not attacking the right creature? <laughs> if it refuses to... <laughs> Okay. Because that would be refusing to perform the task. Okay, so he's already done the task. Okay, that's good. So, yes, what did you get, Jeremy? Uh, AC 26. Uh, I don't know if there's any modifiers. That, that, that would be a critical hit. Critical hit? Yep. Um, uh, where are we? Why are you killing the damn thing? Because that's what he does. Uh, I said that's what we're going to do. Um, 7, 11, uh, 19 points of... Uh, silver lightning damage. That would have been enough to take it out in its own right. As it just explodes in, in Kangasero's arms and caught up, uh, fills his um, body gain uh, more soul, more energy. Not oh, goody. <laughs> okay. that, how many was that? So that was one. Just the one? Yep. Uh, everybody is usual, right? I'm, I'm not so. I don't take souls. I'm taking souls. Yeah. No, it's okay. And, and uh and uh you, you see uh a uh, little um squirt go and that's how it done that's how it done like he was stepping action with his dagger that's right. so the uh the other baby creature got killed was it it did get killed as well yeah he, he got blown up with a um, bolt of um chaos. oh that's right Bella Bella gave it a uh, a nasty a nasty word Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't think we killed the accuser demons. Accuser devils. They were devils. They had to be killed. They don't have to be killed. Of that, I can promise you. You know what's better than killing something who is useless? Something who is unworthy. The better thing is to make it serve you. Yeah. Had you not killed it, it would have given us power. No, no, no. It's, be it's best. It, it, it is evil best creatures. Evil creatures. Better off, better off killing them rather than actually trying to uh, enslave them. Court Arthur is no good or evil. There is he, only he power really. and weakness. And in his case, he was weak with the ability to give me power. You got taken out by a might. He wasn't mighty enough. Bella looks to Squirt. Where did they come from anyway? We already explored the area you could have been going through. I will tell you in a moment. Bella looks to Squirt. It's still intimidated by you. It's just like that. Grinkle 
goes to Squirt's feet. Yes. Squirt looks very uh, still right now. Squirt. And ever so slightly nods and or bows in respect. <laughs> then makes a really loud call and goes back to Bella. Uh, at which point, point there's this sound of drip, 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 drip. <laughs> Bellas looks to squirt. Not many people could have done what you did there. Well, he looks no. down. Not, <laughs> not that. Not that. You fought that spider who was rival with great prowess. Can we go middle up and you just see a, a green from side to side and it's like going, mm-hmm. no, it's a big mm-hmm. 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 Just a non respected way, you know, that's all this stuff like that. Okay. Uh, uh, should, shouldn't we go in back now because it's getting late and and we are pretty beaten up. Are we? Yeah. I am. Okay. Do you okay, Bill? No, I'm fine. Squirt, are you okay? Squirt nods. Happy to help, Master. Step bad things. I've got Squirt now because I can't get rid of it. Okay, I'll look at the crack. Okay, then I need to see you. And then just yell at you. Yeah, I need to sit for a moment, guys. So, Cordaro is basically uh, wiping off his Warhammer and then picks up his sword and wipes it clean as well. Yeah, and then says, so, so, Silver is effective against devils? Uh, yes. But just so you know, uh, the reason they where they came from they were always with us they were following us since the time that they disappeared which is you weren't there when we met them uh they found out well we told them that we could open the doors and uh they tried to make a deal they thought that they could outsmart us by disappearing uh and then i made a deal with the imp and he was he thought he was being smart by getting the uh accusers to attack us well, okay. Can't trust devils. You can if you bind them. Yeah. Or sign a contract. You can't you trust meet them. anything that says I'm no, I already, already told you. Back there. You were going to go through areas where we'd already been. And? There was... The, de- the, de- the devils were there. In the front room? They were right. I explained whichever room it was. They were right there. Yep. Uh, yeah. So... It was to the south of where you were, but off to That's the... That's right, okay. Like, I play, I know. But what were you going that way for? I was following the dumbass. And it's not me this time. At this point, okay. um, Cordai remembers that the door above is actually a, a jar, so you can actually uh, circle around yourself, because um, you broke that door. The door to the west? Yeah. Or the, the, the first door we went out of the, at the first room, yeah. yeah. Okay. But the but as I say, we're still down near the the room which had the two statues in it. Just so you can see, Jeremy. So that was that room there. Yep. Uh, that door was the one you broke. So That's right. Yes. You could technically but, have circled around if you needed to, but well, except that I couldn't have gone through the door to the south. Uh, it was still open. They hadn't opened another door. Oh yes. It stays open yeah. until um, uh, Kangasero opens another door. But, but the, considering the point was that they were going around to me, so then we could keep going further south where I was. I know. <laughs> so... and, and now you know that the ru- the runes on the ground aren't armor trap. Indeed. Having <laughs> just fought on them as well. And Kangasero is currently uh, uh, stood on them um, in the middle of combat. Cool. Uh, uh, I guess. Um, would you take away, please? Mm-hmm. And I put my dagger away. And I said, okay, let's go back to your room. Okay, he managed to put it away past stabbing himself. This time. Okay. Um, so, so wh- wh- while you guys are continuing? fooling around, while you guys are fooling around, Kagasero said that he needs to, to sit down for a bit so he can attend his wounds. Uh, as you sit down, do you lean against the north or the south um, pillow? The north one? The north the one. The lady okay. one? You lean against the lady statue? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn. God, uh, just notice if we start to lean down against the statue and you'll start. Ah! Uh, I, I grab a squirt and move backwards too. 
And uh, the pillar and Kagisero both glow briefly with a reddish light. Do I notice? Yeah, because um, you, you see yourself um, outlined in red. Uh, do I remember anything about this? Like, uh, did I, do I remember doing this before? No, you don't remember doing this before. You, you just uh, realized you, you uh, uh, made a choice. The, the, uh, and you remember the, this room is supposed to be a test. You don't know what the test is, but it's supposed to be a test, and you chose. Okay. I will attend to my wounds. <laughs> and I will not keep uh, you, myself... You see, you, uh, you, you see the red glow and Kangasero glow red. It's, it, it, it lights up. Uh, when you can only see 20 feet, you can see beyond that where he is when, he's, when he lights up like that. Yes, yeah, so I've got... So Kang says running a pillar. Mm. I look up behind the entrance where I'll come in. Yep. Do I see anything at all? No, nothing that way. Cool. I'm just looking for any sort of secret attacks because of what's happened. So, no, nope. no secret attacks, just obvious ones. Yeah. I'm just going stand behind me, squirt. I don't know what the stupid drawer has done yet. Okay. Uh, uh, squirt turns you in and goes, he's glowing. Yeah. I say, I, I know. Uh. I, I, I will just attend to my wounds. <laughs> Even though I am, I am glowing. So, so we're continuing on at this stage? We don't need to be back yet? Uh, like I said, like in the timings that uh, Pimwinkle have been given us when we have to return, we've still got time at the moment? You've still got probably another uh, few hours of searching this place. Okay. Um, uh, I, I, need, I, will... need sit, I need to sit with like half an hour. You guys can do whatever you want, but I need to sit here like for... At least 20 minutes. So we'll leave him be. What are you doing? I, I will attend to my wolves, then I will give some prayers and stuff. Because I, 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 I need to her, I need to recharge my primal power. Uh, I don't think this is a good place to stop. Kordak's pulling out a healing potion and he'll chug a healing potion. Yep. How much do you heal? Yeah, what are we? Five, six, three. Uh, I have I have a healing spell to mark, but uh, I I could just like patch myself up for a while. Um, yeah, I I I I I I'd like to be able to pull my claws out again if if I can keep here for another ten minutes. But I can siphon uh uh my primal powers for my familiar too. Uh, yeah. and then, you, uh, you, yeah, yeah, I will do yeah. that. I will do that so we can, 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 can keep going. Sorry. So, Cord, um, uh, how much did you heal? Sorry, go uh, Okay, I'm not entirely certain. The healing potion I've got noted down as to what it was. I think it was one that we got given when we were in the uh, the um, uh, the priesthood. Um, which should be the, the what's it mouth? Which should be the lower should, one. Yeah, it should be a combined. No, no, save the, save, the, save the, the, the healing potion. I will I will cast my only heal spell. I only use spell slot. It's better than we we are we were we are finishing here, so I won't need it later. Well, the point is we're just cast you. Let me just cast you. I I don't have any D8 here. Can okay. you guys uh, roll two D8? Two uh, from two D8. what? Is it one D8? Uh, that is the the two action spell. Yeah. I can do that with myself, no, no, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, I think it's uh, 1d8 plus 8. Is 2d8 plus, is 2D8 plus, 8, plus 8, 8? Is that it? I don't remember. 1D8 plus 8. I believe it's 1d8 okay. plus 8 with each level um, you get to add an extra d8. We, we the only one. Roll for me yeah. then. Um, yeah. So, so is this, is this a, a spell for yourself individually or is it the group? It's one spell, it's one spell for myself. They with two actions. Okay, so Kordak's still drinking your killing potion. Yep. Yep. Oh, eight. Eight. Okay, so you you gain back eight hit points. I'll take it off the list there, Jeremy, because I've got two of them. Sorry? I've got two healing potions listed, I'll take one off the list. Another so. uh, no, no, this was one that Kordak had specifically. Did you? Okay. Well, yeah, this is like a second. party. We've all taken damage, right? Yep. Cool. Just hang on two seconds. You're going to heal everyone? Yeah. Which they didn't have last time they came in.
Yeah, he will get six health back. Yeah, he is one D eight plus eight. Only one yeah. D eight. But if you did it as a three per a three action spell, you can get everyone within a thirty foot radius. Yeah, but at the same yeah, time, yeah, but if every, is... everybody said that that they are all healed. Yeah, okay. so the thing is, is that he is very, very damaged, and I would personally, if I were him, I would use a two-action heal on myself. Which means... Oh, okay, because that gets more, and more healing. Yeah, that's 1d8 plus 8. And we had uh, Balath rolled it for you earlier, David did, and so that means you get back 10 hit points. Thank you. Oh, so nice. Victor gets back 10. Oh, okay. Yeah, which, Jeremy, that okay. puts you pretty high anyway. So now you're, pr you're pretty even. All right, let's keep going then. Jeremy, the reason I did the AOE is because everybody. I only ever use it if everybody has damage. Absolutely, I'll, yeah. I'll have with that. Yeah, yeah, cool. I usually yeah. don't use them use the heal at all until somebody drops. Okay, I it's can't really make it bigger. As it just doesn't seem to work uh, on the right side scale. That's right. It's the best, the best close I can get to having everyone. Looking at the heal spell. Yeah. The three action one where you get everyone within 30 foot. Does that still not do oh, the, the uh, D8 plus 8? No, no. It, it doesn't do the no. D8. No. It, it, it separates the extra 8 by giving it to um, uh, everyone. That's correct. When are they available? Oh, sorry, the extra healing for two action version is the heightened version. Yep, I can't see that. To be advised. Uh, no, the heightened version is when you're increasing the spell level. Yeah, but yeah. That's where, when you get the extra healing for the two action version, but not necessarily the one or three. So you've yeah. got you've got a single action that allows you to um, just heal something you touch. You've got the two action yep. which give you ranged for one target um, plus um, an extra. And you get plus eight. eight. And yep. then the third three action does an area effect, but it doesn't give the plus eight. But it does the standard healing that was usually. Yep, that's okay. okay. Yeah, cool. so, so that, that, that's the way. And then you get, for every level you heighten it with a higher spell slot, you gain an extra dice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, for the two action version, but not for the, not for the area. No. Well, I know it all by heart, so... I don't often heal. I don't often cast really any. Okay, any so... Um, uh, now that you've gotten yourself back on your feet, do you want to head um, uh, south, de uh, sorry, up the stairs that Corda found? Yep, the only room, I, I think the only room we said is a single one, right? The only door that is left uh, no, we've, closed. We've actually still got two pathways to go now. Okay. Because we've got the pathway that Cordard had gone across to, which will lead some stairs going to the south. But then we've also got the pathway that you turned back from when you came across the circular room with the imps. Oh, was yeah, there, yeah, that's it. Was there anything beyond that? I guess, yeah, but uh, we didn't uh, went there. So, but yeah. Gordon would encourage you to go back the way the imps were because he's curious as to why the hell you went that way in the first place. <laughs> because I'm smart. Yeah. But it's not where you were supposed to be going. So you, you want to go the way the, uh, you found the imps or do you want to go the... Yeah, back to where the imps were. Okay, yeah, so uh, you, you find yourself in uh, what appears to be um, some sort of fighting pit with a balcony, uh, uh -huh. and there are um, uh, uh, insect prints all over the um, floor. I'm assuming the, the imps and stuff didn't have any equipment or anything, did they? They did not. No. Um, are there any exits from the fighting pit? Uh, you can take some stairwell, the stairwell up, and it goes into a passageway. Okay. Well, well, we'll that, lead the way down the passage by then. Okay, so... Oh, do I keep glowing or I just glow that, uh, in that room? So, uh, you just glowed in that room. Okay. So, j just for your benefit, um, there, uh, Kangasero has a bonus. So, uh, for the next 24 hours, you get a plus one bonus on attack rolls, weapon damage rolls, saving throws, skill checks, and ability checks. Nice. And him, we could call it a trap. Well, he, he critically failed on his role. I'll, I'll, I'll take the line on a lot of cancellations and name changes, but that's not. Nah, nah. Okay. 
<laughs> what do you see in the pathway? Okay, uh, so as, as you go a bit further, you find three doors uh, uh, in front of you as the um, corridor opens up into um, a 30-foot uh, wide chamber uh, with uh, that end basically ends in three doors. Uh, a small fountain made of green stone is uh, sitting against the north wall and you can hear the sound of water in it. Can I drink it? Uh, you go up and drink the water. <sighs> mm. Maybe. First I will just... Uh... <laughs> uh, he, he doesn't check. He well, goes up and drinks. Well, certainly, Court Army is taking a look at the fountain, but he's not actually going to drink immediately. He's going to look at the water to see what stage it's in. I rolled 11 on perception. Looks like water. Well, okay. <laughs> so, so, um... Kangasero, uh, and and basically Cordas having a look, Pimwinkle's having a look, and um, Kangasero is drinking deeply. So Kangasero gets to make a fortitude saving throw. Wait, I, I said, can I drink it? I don't, I didn't say it. I will drink it. <laughs> uh, and it sounds like I'll drink it. So you went up and drank it. Okay. So can I drink it? it, it it's like uh, does my car does my car to feel is like uh, is is drinking water or it something does. like that? No, it, that's it looks okay. Like that's water. water. Yes. Uh, uh, seventeen. Then total twenty three. Okay. Um, yes. Uh, it, it, you feel refreshed. I said I was thirsty, man. I think God this uh this river or Rodney Water is here. It is a man made fountain. Dang. Why did you say so before? I did say fountain at the start, made out of green crystal. Sixteen to see whether there's any obvious pollutants in the water. Uh yes, there is an obvious pollutant in the water. There is a green uh key uh made out of crystal. Is anybody watching? Uh, uh, and it looks to be the um the, the, the exact same um head you were looking for. Is anybody looking at Bellath right now? Uh, yes, two people. Well, Kordak's looking in the fountain at the same time. They're, they're, everyone's looking in the fountain as you see. Kangaroo, might be no distracted the by the, uh, the, 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 the tasty water. <laughs> okay, so um the um uh, bird flies into one of the doors beside you with a loud bang. Uh, give me a um, um, uh, thieving roll for Bella. I get spotted. And I very obviously get spotted. I okay. get spotted. <laughs> Na natural one? No, not that bad. Um, so, uh, while I grab it, I will make it quite obvious that I have it. Okay, there's this splashing sound as uh, and clinking of um, uh, the key on the fountain. As Balath pulls it out and uh, and spends it, uh, a few goes getting it into his robe. Yeah. I found the key. Look, if, if this is if this is the the vampire stories key, uh, give it to me, man. Give it, give me, give me. Come on. No. I don't trust you with that key. He got a I don't trust you to breathe, and yet I still let you do it. Let's just go along with the camera. Don't, 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 don't uh, play with the, with the vampire story, man. Don't do it. So, you may be. What's, what's the water like, Hengasero? Uh, is that refreshing? You wanna taste it? See, I don't know how you got away with it, but that water is full of brackish pollutants. I don't know how you're not rolling around dying right now. And what it is, I'm uh, impressed that you are so uh, dumb that not even poison itself will take its effect on you. Yeah. Uh, uh, maybe I'm used to like uh, be uh, drinking not fresh water. He, he's trying to show you what's in his pocket. Just try to, and and you might. Four dogs. Look, guys! Look, guys! I I I will I will be. Much, much more willingly to go forward if I have the pocket in my, or if I had the key in my pocket. Kordak's ignoring them all again, and he's going to listen at the first of the doors to see if you can hear anything on the other side. Yep. 
And uh, come on, Bella. So, so the, the door next to the fountain does have some rubble in front of it that you'd need to clear to open the door. Okay. Can I hear anything on the other side before kind of move move it? Uh, give me a perception roll. Uh, Fourteen. Okay, you can hear some uh, raspy breathing that reminds you of the lemurs that you fought earlier. Mm hmm. I will have a listen at the next door. Mm hmm. Twenty. Uh, Twenty. You don't hear anything at the next door. The middle door, that is. Okay, and the last door. Twenty-two. Uh, Twenty-two. Okay. Uh, you you hear a rather um, um, strange um, voice um, using um, Balef like speech, um, apparently talking to itself. Okay, okay. You mean infernal? Yes. <laughs> Balef like speech. The rocks are in front of the other doors. Uh, okay, you start going through the rocks. I just want to look at the rocks, I don't want to actually bury them. There are rocks there, yes. Can I determine if there's anything under the rocks there? Probably more rocks. Okay. I'm going to look at all three doors. I'm yep. looking for anything that triggers the doors. Uh, yes, they've got handles. Okay. <laughs> now, I'm looking for something. Is there going to be something in the room that might trigger the doors opening? That's what I'm looking for, like a trap trigger or something, or something like that. Or... Uh, give me a perception roll. And if you roll the one on this, it'll be hilarious. Yeah, can we use trap, traps for this? One? You can. Yes, okay. Oh, that was good. Um, 17 total. 17. Um, uh, looking around, no. Nothing here seems to be trapped. Okay. But it does look as if um, someone's barred the door next to the fountain. Um, Porter, having listened to all three doors, he's going to uh, start clearing the rubble a bit away from the first door. I hey, you feel fairly quiet about it. Mm -hmm. You also mentioned to Balath that I believe there's someone talking your tongue down behind the other door. Uh, it, it will be a kind of hard to hear anything. Oh, no, no, because... no, no. That, that Balath, you, you haven't raised your voice yet. Balath goes, all right, yes, I'll be over there in a second. And now, if you're key, if you touch me or the key, you will burn. Stay away from me and don't touch me. Uh, the uh, at, at that point, Grind Grindel um, um, does the whole wings up um, very bat like and looks at you, um, making his wings look like he's a um, bat. I say, look, man, uh, that devilish thing over your shoulder is making me a bit mad. I, I am your friend, you know that, but you also know that we can't li let the vampire's toys. Get uh, moving again and like wish that thing on us. So I will ask you nicely if you want to give me the key, I can stash it. But if you not want to give me the key, I will need to insist. And I don't like to insist. Square sees how this is going to be. I see that's my S plate, so I whisper in Square's here. Square rushes over to Kangas here and gives him a big hug on the leg. Okay, you're being hugged by a Square, Kangas here. I say, oh, look, man, man just, just give me the key. I can carry for you. Yeah, Don't sorry. get me started on, on leaving the, this vampire stuff. I need, I, 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 I need to, to get it on my hands. And, and I, 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 don't, I don't want it like loose or with anyone else. I just want to, to hold it. How many times have I brought you back from death when you've been incapable of defending yourself? You aren't, you aren't listening. This is a vampire too. That, 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 that's a vampire too. So, Squirt goes, Master says you can trust me, love. I trust Master. You see, Master is a vampire too. Thank you, Sarah. Apparently, everything we see and meet and come across is a vampire's tool. You're so dense that you don't even realise that these aren't vampires. They're devils. They are toy things. Things to be they are vampires with too. Things. They are vampires too. They said the vampires. You, you saw the vampire photo. I just start to get like nervous that you you all aren't listening to me. And he's right. We're not listening to him. <laughs> yeah, I know. That, but this is the first time that Kangas noticed that. Because you aren't giving me the key. 
and he, he is noticing that you are you are listening to him. The the fair, uh, it doesn't matter if we know we, we need the item, are we? I've turned myself in the exact replica like square. I grabbed the other leg and hung the same. <laughs> so, so you were um, hugged by a squirt on both legs. There's two squirts hugging you now. I just say, look, 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 Melaf, I just want to stash it. If you, if you don't want to give it to me, I am stronger than you. You see where this is going, right? Listen, Kangasero, the item, the, the concern you have with whatever that, with whatever the toy was, it's in the storeroom, isn't it? Yep, it is there, but we and it's in the might storeroom, take it back with and us. How many doors? Are between us and that storeroom. I know, but we might get that thing back with us. Hangus Hero, there are currently at least three doors between us and that room, or the item. Now, yes. who is the only person in this party that can open the doors? But there, we see three doors that have handles on them. I no, don't know if no, we open these no, doors, we, we go circle back to that room. I don't know. You are the only person that can open the doors. If you don't open the door to the storeroom, Belath cannot get to the item. All right, let, let's just do something. Uh, can you try a, a diplomacy check against my intelligence? Yes. That's kind of easy because I have a lot. Oh, no, because it's probably, it's probably caught up. It's trying to do diplomacy with it. So um, yeah. you, you, notice, <laughs> you notice that Square has pulled a rope out of, me, out of um, no, nowhere. Hang on a second, Jeremy's either really happy or really sad. <laughs> With my plus zero diplomacy, I got 20 upgraded. <laughs> <laughs> Magnificent. Okay, 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 seems reasonable. I, I, sh I shouldn't I shouldn't argue with you guys. Let, let's keep going. Person, you're the only person that can open the door. If you don't want us to go into that room, don't open the door. Yeah, but I, I, I told you, we will go there. We'll go, we'll go there before we leave because we will yeah. take it. No, no, no. You're, you have to open the door. Even if we go there, we can't get in unless you open the door. I know. I just I want to take the, 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 the vampire stories out of here, but I don't want the toy and the key out because that means the, the, the people will try to mess with you. You already know you cannot move the toy without actually activating it it's too heavy to lift and no one can get in oh, there okay. i didn't i didn't realize that i, I, I thought that we were way. about to take it no no there's no one can get there except you beast of bird. <laughs> They would, they would have been carrying right. it with them otherwise. I am pissed. I want to smash something. I want to smash a door. Okay, so you go and smash a door. Which one? The one next to the fountain, the one in the middle, or the bottom one? It's going to be the devil door. Since I am on the fountain. Which door are you smashing? Since I am on the fountain, I will just kick the door close to the fountain. Okay. They have vampire keys and tools and stuff. Give me a um, uh, strength attack roll. It's just a kick, you know. I'm, I'm not, not like bashing with my strong. whole body. I know, I know it's a kick, but you don't know what's going to happen. All right. Well, he should know what's going to happen. He's going to I'm sure this this will suck because I rolled a high number plus uh, athletics or strength. Strength. Just strength. He hasn't cut, really. He's still got two squirts on his legs. Uh, okay, that's the only one I'll make it athletics with disadvantage. Yeah, because you've got two squirts on your legs at the Okay, athletics, this plus seven, and this is even worse. Then I got 25. 25, okay, so um, at 25, uh, Pinwinkle takes five points of bludgeoning damage as you kick him into the room. Really? Give me a. Uh, <laughs> Uh, There's a door open to you. As you land right between two of the little devils. And I, and I, go, I just wanted to like uh, express and myself as a character to, of being super myself. angry. So I yell out to Squirt who's sitting on Tegasir's leg. Drop the hold, go near the fountain. 
and <laughs> wish, wish <laughs> luck on me. <laughs> so, uh, apparently, we're, we're now on an initiative again. Thank you. I had you all my... I was telling you, Luke, dude. Bruce, really? You really... You lose all your, your friendship with the party, man. 12 for Florida. I am furious, man. I forgot about the, the things on my legs. <laughs> For sorry. <laughs> we you? I was paying attention. That, that's how important you were to him. That's how much notice he was taking. I forgot, <laughs> man. I'm sorry. No, man. You didn't fuck up at all. Your character fucked up. And that was so fun. And, and it was in character, which was the best part about it. 100%. That was so fun. <laughs> that's okay. Cool. So you, 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 the fact that the, the character, character doesn't recognize it, hey? No one can get there if you don't want to. Ralph was going to turn you into barbecue and then get beat the, I, I am so for you. I am furious because you, you guys don't listen to me, man. What the fuck? <laughs> you could just hand me the key and just stash it and that's it. I will say because the vampire who it was in my possession and I was keeping it safe. Uh, so I, I guess the, 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 they'll be going first. Um, so, uh, Corda, what's, what's your initiative? Uh, twelve. I'm going to put, put it down as perception still, so... Yeah, um, twelve. Uh, Pimwinkle, um, I'm going to make your initiative reflex. Reflex? Yes, because you've just been kicked into the room. Surely you could use yourself as a bludgeon anyway. So much better, by the way. I don't mind. Yeah. It, it is relevant to the action that happened. Twenty. Because I would be just six and I'm left there. Nice. So I'm still cursed on the initiative. <laughs> okay, uh, Bella, what was your initiative? 15. And Kangasero, what was your initiative? Oh, I didn't roll that yet, sorry. Uh, 12 plus 7, 18 total. <laughs> okay, you're currently flat footed, um, prone between these um, two creatures. Yeah. Thanks for that, Kangasura. And uh, the first one oh, tries sorry, to um, attack you. They aren't like flat footed too because they didn't expect like a halfling. Uh, yeah, no, but they, they, they were acting first. They were oh, they, going first in this because they're not flat footed. They also got a upgraded in the 20. So uh, it gets an armor class of 25 to hit you. Ah, god dang it. No, I'll try my class. Prone makes it 16. Still not a cruise. No, you're, you're one off a crit. That's cool, because I've got something to help me behind so. Okay, so. After all that nice healing, you take. Uh, 6 slashing damage plus 1 evil damage, so you take 7 damage all up. Okay, I've done 4 then. How big is this room? Like, is is the, is this loose? Uh, just a small room or like a big room? It is a small room. Uh, it doesn't have enough room for everyone to get in there. Uh, there's uh, basically uh, pinwinkles between two of them, and only one person can step into the room. Uh, the next one, uh, it goes there for a second attack. Okay, second attack hits armor class of uh, 10. Cool, that's cool. I've got an option here for one mm. thing, that's all. And then the other one um, attacks you, hitting armor class 21. That's going to hit no matter what, yeah. Doing uh, three points of slashing plus one point of evil, so another four damage to Pimwinkle. Mm -hmm. And he then hits a second attack. And that hits armor class 10. Sure, cool. I, I didn't realize I've got nimble dodge, which is in plus two to attack by C. So I was like, oh, yes. I'm gonna, I forgot that I've got that on my character because I haven't played this for a while. So I remember that, that can be action, I think, isn't it? So, so therefore, you only get it once. Yeah, no, that's what I'm just saying. And you can't do it while flat footed. I believe you, you uh, because you don't get your reaction until you get your first action in a round. You, you cannot react to anything until you've acted. So it's required not to be acted. Reaction is a reaction of right. effect, and reactions do not are not available to a character until they've acted in a round. Oh, uh, as that's why going first is so big, and then it is Pimwinkle who can now do his nimble dodge as a reaction <laughs> after this point. <laughs> so, so I find hard to hit next time. time. I'm bolting. I'm, You're bolting. I'm getting out of there because 
probably won't survive another round, so I'm going to bolt. Okay, you bolt, and they just watch you go with um, uh, uh, goopiness. I bolt. Uh, hopefully, they've got AOs. <laughs> I bolt to the fountain, which is exactly is one room. Yep. I pull up the hand crossbow. Mm hmm. And he's in between me and there. And then you load it? I load it, and that's all I do. Yep. And I tell Squirt. Oh, actually, you've got to stand up, move over to that, pull out your hand crossbow. It's not loaded. Yeah, that's I'm happy with that. I said, okay, I'll look at Kangasura. And then Squirt drops off, I'm Kangasura, and runs over to you. That's right. Okay. And gives you a hug. Thank you, Squirt. We'll talk to that druid later. <laughs> um, okay. Who's next? And then it's Kangasura's go. Unfortunately, you no longer have the claws of death. Yeah, I, I'm curious, uh, what, what is this creature that does have wings and such? You, you showed me a picture, but it was pretty quick. Okay, uh, it is um, that creature. Oh, the one on the left? This one here. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You've fought them before, they're, they're minor devils, or apparently vampire spawn. There's one vampire problem. I'm, I'm, now I am super pissed. I will, I will, I will bring in a giant centipede in the top of one's head. And how big is a giant centipede? Uh, say giant centipede. I don't know how, do how big it is. I don't know, believe you can put one in a square it's standing in. No, you can't do that. Uh, let's see. I think it's a tiny creature. I am. I still don't think you can summon It's a giant centipede, but uh, let's see. Uh, so you don't think you can onto a square that someone is standing in. Yeah. Okay. And then I, I, I just put it next to it. I mean, not between them because they can flank it. Well, technically, the only space is technically between them. The only space that, that is, is medium size? Yeah, it is medium size. It's bigger, it's bigger than Pimwinkle. Jeez, it, it, it can't eat big wiggle? Like, <laughs> it could. <laughs> could it use it? Is it okay, I will bring it to to this hell scape. And, and it's, it's cool, right? Uh, you just take a three round summon, doesn't it? Three rounds of summon. Three action summon, yes, and then the creature appears, and then a creature can go. Okay, yeah, cool. I'm gonna make sure that's right. Okay, then let's go. Let's try to see if the, the, the okay. thing can attack the, yeah, one of them. Uh, uh, Rule 17. How no, much attack it, it, it has? Just one second, man. I'm just checking on the stats. Okay, uh, Martin, can I open the stats? Or? Uh, basically, it's normally me who's supposed to pull those out. That's part of the um, thing with the um, Pathfinder 2. The Bestiary is a GM book, not a player book. That's good. Uh, okay. some, something to keep in mind. Um, otherwise, you, you, you do have a lot of people calling out the strengths and weaknesses of things that they're not supposed to know yet. Okay, okay so yes, it has appeared. It has um, a piercer attack, a sting attack, and uh, the sting attack has venom. And basically, you, can choo you choose either pincer or stinger. So pincer allows it to grab and potentially hold it in place. That's the giant uh, centipede, right? Uh, yeah. you, you said, I thought you said yeah. scorpion. No, centipede, sorry. No, Okay, well I went for scorpion, so I'll go back to centipede. Uh, I don't know if I can bring in a giant scorpion. No, it's like, this, this is the right one. No, it's right. Centipede, right. that's fine. It's my spot. Uh, I, I take note the, 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 the name of the things I can bring in. I can bring in a flesh beetle, a evil, a... Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Centipede is fine. Centipede is a third level creature. Yes. No, a giant centipede, a minus, minus one creature. Yes, that's why I'm looking... Unless I, unless I, I take note, uh, I take the wrong note. I might have. How else have I looked in the right bestiary? Well, that's a bestiary one, right? No, two. I was, I was looking into it at the time. So just wait, wait a second, we're just looking it up, so... Okay, so... Not a, not a purple worm, you didn't bring one of those in. <laughs> yeah, actually, I, I don't... I don't... I didn't take note, I didn't creature. take note from any monster from the book, too. Okay, so it has a single attack called Mandibles. So you get a plus six to your attack roll. And it's total 23. 23, okay, 23 will hit. Uh, how much damage do I do? I don't know. You do, uh, 1d4 minus 1, and then it does Venom. 
I don't have any D4 dice with me. Can you roll? <laughs> and you're one. One. <laughs> Okay, okay that's one damage then. One there, so that was actually. So what you got? Twenty three, yeah. on it on your attack roll. So yes, you actually critically hit. So that means you do a whole two damage. Okay. And but that is venom. Venom. Uh, does it? Do, do we apply uh, the, the same attack type? It gets a quarter the same saving throw, which it makes. Oh damn. I was, I was so happy. happy. Cool. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, All right, that's so my whole turn then. Then what does it do with its second action? It only has two uh, actions. So. I don't want to bite again, but let's try it. Okay. Right. Roll, give me an attack roll. Uh, ooh, 18. But uh, it's not agile, then it's minus 5. Then um, total 16. It's still not a much. Roll uh, d4 minus 1. So who's going to... That's you. Sure. Yeah, I've got three this time, so I've got two. Two, two damage, yeah. and then it will make a roll for... Um, uh, fail, 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 fail. Yeah. I actually hasn't seen you be harming it at all yet. And it passes hey. the, the poison save, because it has physical resistance versus um, attacks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so basically, because your uh, centipede isn't silver, it's not doing enough damage to get through, even if it rolls maximum. But it could still provide flanking for someone else who's attacking. Okay. So, uh, uh, next person up is Balat. You see two mindless lemurs in there. Attacking a centipede. Well, half, like, you look at the thing would run past you. Having, having spat out a half like. <laughs> Did you run out? Yep. Yeah, you did run out? Yeah. Got area on. effect? No, I um I only have fire area effects. And they're immune to fire. And mental, because there's they're they're that smart. There's only one spell I have that can <clears throat> In fact, especially because the little mers are mindless, there's literally one spell I have that can affect them. Yeah. And we've seen it all day and all night. Ooh. Uh, 27 to hit. 27 is a critical hit. Well, we're doing lawful, lawful damage. Mm -hmm. Can I worry uh, do you do? Uh, do we double or roll twice? You double. Mm -hmm. uh, seven, 14 lawful damage. 14 so, lawful damage. Okay, it takes a nice meaty um, hit on it and, it and it sort of turns and looks at you blurry eyed. It has eyes. He has eyes, yes. Uh, I'm going to stand further back. Oh, see. You have one red and one yellow eye? Is that it? Um, <laughs> there's a nice close-up of it for you. <laughs> okay. Yep, thanks, please. Okay, so. And um, your, your um, crow calls at it. Yeah, no, I'm holding it back. Uh, then it is uh, Cordar's go. Apparently, they've knocked on the door. Apparently. Um, so, is there space for Cordar to actually get into the room to attack? Or He can because everyone's been attacking from outside. Okay, well. Cordar um, will. So, how far away are they from Cordar right now? You would have to move in about 10 feet to get past the others. Okay. Um, well, yep, he'll go into the door then. And with one action, take a sling with another uh, 12 AC 22. 22 is a hit, but because you've got flanking, that's now a crit. Okay. Um, uh, 12, 20 points of bludgeoning silver damage. Okay, so you swing that at uh, one of them and... Uh, uh, it explodes, and you um, gain one um, to your maximum hit points. Okay. So, um, and uh, third action, he'll raise his shield. Okay. And then it is Lemurs go, and it first goes for the um, 
uh, annoying little um, um, centipede. Centipede has an armor I don't know class its armor class. And okay. it hits a uh, 21. So, yes, that's a hit. And uh, it does uh, seven points of damage to its um, eight hit points. So, it's got one hit point left. Nice. So, it swings again. Uh, and this time it misses completely. Yay! Then the other one swings at it. Oh. The other one's dead. Mm -hmm. Oh, so it's dead. That is correct. Yeah. This ghostly thing goes, uh, and then just, <laughs> this has been a roller coaster of yays and alls. <laughs> so, so it, is, it survived a hit of a little more. Yay! And that brings us to Pinwinkle. Oh. <laughs> you, you load your bolt and you shoot. Uh, that is someone in the way, I guess. <laughs> uh, he can be if you aim it that way. Oh no, he's probably giving them cover. Uh, I normally don't. I uh, 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 depending on the way you aim. Yeah. Uh, only if you roll um, a critical miss will you actually hit one of the others. You still have rerolls. <laughs> don't tell me what ain't the critical miss. <laughs> Go for the uh, You hit. That's six physical. Six physical, you actually do damage. One point? Uh, no, it does some. Cool. And you see your arrow twitching in it. And I go. And then you can fire again. No, I said. Chick, chick, fire. That's right, you, you, you loaded, fired, and then loaded. Okay, then it is Kangasero's go. You get to go before yeah. your um, um, little helper goes. Yeah, I will spend one action to concentrate so it can go, mm -hmm. right? And it will go at and the then, end of the round. And then my two other action is grab my spear and throw it. Okay, give me attack roll. Okay, this spear is already plus one. Does the bonus I got stack? Yes. 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 Mm, that's double, yes. <laughs> okay, let me roll. Ooh, I roll it badly. But still do a total 18. You hit. Okay, since it's straw, is 1d6 plus 3. I can roll the D6 so it's going to. Uh, five, cinco, seis, sete, eight. Eight. Okay, uh, as you throw the spear, you see an arc of, um, uh, red energy, um, go from you into the spear, into the creature, as it just explodes right in Kordar's face, as you, um, feel yourself gain, um, uh, some of the life force from the creature. I feel... Uh, much, uh, calm now. End of combat? End of combat. Alright, pack away. Square stay here. I'll go and punch him in the knee. If there's gangs or anything. Now! Cool now, we'll go and I, 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 then I will attend to, to Pink Waco. Uh, after well, the fight. Cool now, we'll say. go and listen at the other door again to see whether or not there's still someone talking infernal or whether he's more likely quieting down he's listening to find what's happening on the outside. But. Yeah, no, it's following Cool Okay. Uh, 24 on perception. Okay, so uh, as you're doing that, uh, uh, and what does Balaf get on his perception? That good? A one. <laughs> okay, uh, apparently you're, you're hearing the rhythm of um, uh, Kordar's heart right right next to you uh, in, in your ears as you're doing his boom, 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 boom. Stop breathing so loud. I'm trying to listen. And, and, and you can hear hear the you know the, the pulsing of his veins, the um, breathing, the rhythm of his breathing. It, it's just everything for you right now. That it's just caught your entire attention. As uh, uh, Kordar's listening to the inferno on the other side of the door. Vampire. Who knows? Turns out Balad was the vampire all along. Kordar, Kordar will. Okay. Well, thank you, Lee. 
we're probably face to face listening at the door and say, yep, can you, you definitely speak in that uh, Chalaxian tongue. And you do notice that Bella seems to have a weird look in his eyes while he's looking at you. The what? Uh, so, what's he saying? What? Stop breathing. I can't hear you. I can't hear anything. <sighs> and he keeps looking at your neck. Uh, Cord, I'll step away and call over, like signal over to Kangatero to say, um, open that door, let's give the signal, let's, he's got his, uh, his Warhammer and Shield ready. So Kangatero. Uh, before, before that, I was attending to Pink Rico because I just threw him into the door. <laughs> you pick up Pink Rico and like, him at the door? No, I, I I did that before, so I I, I will try to apologize to Pikuiko first before doing anything. Really, there I thought you were gonna. Uh, man, I I'm I'm sorry. I, I was pissed. I I need to watch my anger issues, man. I don't know if you can pardon me. So so <laughs> apparently, um, you grab Squirt. Okay. Then you try to grab Primwinkle and he dodges out of the way. Yeah. And I'm just... I look at you, play the crosser, aim at your head and go, go do what about... Go do what Cordar says. I says, I don't trust you. I trust you less than Bella. That's saying a lot. Do it. And that's my intimidation. I got settled. I got settled a bit sad because of, of the things he caused because of his anger. I'm more or something like... <laughs> and, and, and he does it with that... Um, uh, you can hear the tremor in his voice while he's trying to intimidate you. Yeah. And I, but I, just, I keep distance from Kangasir at the because I don't want to get anywhere near him. Okay, apparently he moves over to squirt out of your way. Okay, so you, you I, move over I to... I just want more something like... Uh, I, just, I just wanted to, to keep the vampires out. Okay, so... Um, uh, when, when you say that, the door next to Kordar opens. Why? And uh, a, a oh. uh, growly voice says, uh, No vampires here, go away. And then the door slams. Well, I say, as soon as the, as soon as the door opens, because Kordar was waiting for the door to open, the, uh, he came, he's going to jump in and smack whatever's on the other side with his silver war hammer. Okay. Wait, what? So, Don't do um, this, man. Oh, my God. As the, as the door opens, um, you find yourself with a medium-sized um, uh, baby with um, insect legs, uh, bottom half. Unlike the small-sized mm -hmm. one you fought earlier, it's a larger version okay. of the Accuser Devil. Okay. So, uh, like I said, Cordar was ready to jump in and uh, smack anything that was moving, so... If he gets the chance, he, that's what he's doing. Okay, give me a attack roll. Uh, this, this wasn't nice. Uh, 12, what am I? Oh, uh, this is a Warhammer. 22. 22, you hit. Ooh, for a good hit, uh, 12 points of silver blackening damage. Okay, uh, he he uh, screams ow, uh, and, then, and then he then he then he tries to slam the door in your face uh, as yeah. most of his action. So you got the interrupt I... of bang. So he's going to try to. Well, I hope you get a foot in the door. He's trying to. He's going against your athletics roll, uh, athletics score. Yeah, uh, I got plus eight for athletics. Yep. You, you see the screen? I see it, yeah. That's all good. Okay, so he, he got a... Um, so that makes it a DC 18. He manages to get um, a uh, 30 upgraded. And yep. he manages to push your foot out of the door and shut the door. Okay. Quick, open the door again. Uh, the, the, thing, the thing spoke common? It did speak common, and it said, No vampires here, go away. And then he goes, Oh! 
And that court I say, quick, open the door. I, I, I say, wait. Leave open the door. Leave the vampire shit be, man. Let's just not trouble it. Open the door. Well, well Kunga, 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 like, to refuse that. If it's the same creature that we're just killing, that chased you around the room before, and you a bigger version, must we go He's, kill it? He, he said that it's not a single vampire in that room. No, they're a devil. Open the door. Wait, but, but he, he must be lying, right? The yes, other, he's lying the other on the Open the door. The other. We'll kill the vampires. Open the door. Can I see <laughs> right now? Pass, just don't pass. He's a devil. He's lying. Sure. <laughs> Kaga opened the door, but he, he doesn't, <laughs> like, jump in. He, uh, he, as, he, as, he, as, as, you, as you move up to the door, and uh, a little bolt embeds itself right next to you. Open the fucking door. As soon as you open the door, Balak pushes you aside to allow Korda to go through. <laughs> okay. Uh, as the door opens, you see a low table in the centre of the room with two low benches um, sit either side of the table and a wooden string instrument, instrument of archaic design leaned against one of them. And... And nothing, the room, the room is empty besides that. Kordark's looking around to see if he can spot an invisible creature. It can disappear. And yep. teleport. This could Kordark's be a trap. looking around for an invisible creature. This could be a uh, trap. The accusers are dumb, but the uh, imps are very smart. Well, this one wasn't an imp. It was an accuser. Yeah. It was a big accuser. We saw one. The imps could be orchestrating a trap, getting us to go in, whatever. But that's okay. Cordo's uh, effectively stepped into the room and he's looking around to see if he can spot any evidence of an invisible creature. Okay, give me a perception roll. So there's a table? Uh, 17. As Corda, there's a table, some benches. As the Corda looks around, he, he sees no sign of anything being disturbed in here by any other creatures. 22 from 70. Bloody hell, Kangasaro, you let it get away. But there is a scorch mark which he um, uh, associates with what he's heard of um, uh, devils teleporting. Corda will point at the scorch mark and say, look, you let the bloody thing get away. I was thinking, man. Anyway, I, 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 I don't, don't want to open a door to a vampire to come There's out. There's no vampires here! <laughs> Wait till the next room. <laughs> there is no vampires <laughs> in this facility. <laughs> the facility swarming with devils, not vampires. But but these things are just vampires. There are no vampires here. I'll, I'll walk over and I'll push as much as I have to push a druid aside. Yeah. Do so you have half elf, isn't it? Or? You're elf or half elf? I am a half, half human, human, half health. Half health, okay. So, I, as much as I push you with a minus one to my strength away, I want to see inside. I want to look for any traps for this. Okay, give me a trap look. That's pretty shit. 14. Oh, um, there's possibly some sort of trap that a devil's laid in there somewhere. Yeah, watch out for traps, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's what I have to do. Uh, and I'll walk back. Yeah. And... I'm going to use one of those potions of healing because I've got a right. so I'll, 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 I'll look it up for you. So. I believe it's a D8. Any idea how far they could uh, disappear? Well, the fact of the matter is, is that if he can disappear even a short distance, he can keep going. And if we haven't heard him do it again, well, I really don't think he'd be around. You begin to get the feeling that Belath has absolutely no idea and that he was he was throwing words at you just to sound like he was smart. <laughs> but it sounded correct. Okay, this, this is the whole room, mate. Right? Yeah, there's no, nothing here. Look around the room. Okay, uh, looking around the room, give me a perception roll while you're looking for things other than invisible people. That's right. Or, or, or short mark indicating tele uh, teleportation. Eight. Eight. Um, <laughs> so, so you... So eight plus six or eight total? Uh, no, no, eight with total with the plus six. Okay, so so yes, you, you still managed to find the table and 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 then you managed to find the stools, 
And, and then you managed to find the um, musical instrument lying against there that you saw earlier. But besides that, you're not really too sure about anything else. Yeah. And you set no traps off, so you must have been fantastic. Are there any exits from the room? Uh, the one you came in. Yeah. Uh, who else was looking in the room? Uh, Kaka said we'll try to pick up the, the, the musical instrument too and analyze if this is a vampire too or if this is just a common too. Okay, so uh, give me a um, history roll. Uh, history, that's. Intelligence. Uh, just base, okay. It is minus one. I rolled it nine, minus one eight. Uh, it, it's, it's something made out of um, wood and um, animal string, as far as you can tell. Not not terribly important. Uh, I just I just give to someone else this. Uh, look, this is a strange tool. Corda, uh, having not found anything in the room, we'll go and be listening at the third door, the middle door. History roll for that. Make a perception roll, uh, a performance roll. Performance roll. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, having a look at it, uh, you don't believe you've ever touched a musical instrument that well made. Okay. What kind of musical instrument is it? You don't recognize it. It is. It, it, is, smash it. it is unusual. It, it it basically looks to be a uh, work of um, art created uh, at the height of a empire. Do you think it's string? String. Wind? It's, a, it's a string. In, it's, it looks like a um, mix between a harp and a um, um, banjo in some of the way it works. Got some good news for you. Guess who owns a lute and has performance? You. Mm. Uh, it it yeah. it looks like it is um, um, brand new, but has the feel of something that is thousands of years old. Do you mind if I take a look? Yeah, okay. yep, I give it to you. They got it, they it, got it the is, uh, it, right? I'd say cool. Um, Bella will spend some time just having a little bit of a explore and a tiny little play with it. Give me a performance roll. Twenty-eight upgraded. Okay, as you start playing it, uh, a tune like you've never heard before, never been able to play in your life, just comes off it. Uh, it it basically resonates so much with you that uh, everyone else now has to make a will saving throw. Including Corda, who was outside the room at this stage. Uh, it's, it's, the other door. it's echoing quite loudly. How do that? Um, oh, damn. Uh, 15. Mm. Uh, 13. 23. 23 for Kanga. And how much did um, Kangasero get? 23. 23. 15 for square. Okay, uh, Kangasero is moved by it. Everyone else is brought to tears. So. It, it, it's that uh, moving. Um, uh, you have no idea where the music came from, what the music was. It, it Basically, you have no idea if you can ever play something that well again in your life. You see a and be crying in our Scottish cry time, you see a first square cry. Once the beautiful and elegant song has... And you notice that your crow is on its back, twitching. That's okay. Once the beautiful and elegant song has com has uh, concluded... Corda will wipe the dust out of his eyes and keep listening at the door. Yeah, somebody's been coming <laughs> to you. Jesus. Um, Bella looks to Kangasero and screams out in the most hateful voice, There are no fucking vampires in here. They are devils. My people worship and serve devils. I know who they are. How do you think I've been able to talk to them, you dense, irritable beast of burden? <laughs> and then he goes back to playing a slight tune. Not as good, but still 24. Okay, uh, a, um, a melody from your childhood uh, starts to play. 
and then, then, then until like see in childhood, <laughs> and, and and then you realise it, it, it's still more complex than you've ever been able to play in your life. Cool. It, it's the equivalent of two or three musicians playing at once. Fantastic. And and the the sounds from this are completely unusual to you. You've never heard it's like in your life. Only a, a vampire might can craft something strange like this. It, it's almost like it's making um, music, uh, magic with its music. Okay. Just going to roll a personal will save here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god, god. I hear the court arm out of the room and didn't actually hear the comment show. <laughs> oh, that's not good. No, that's fantastic. Um, so, Belaf was rolling a will save. And if he had a, if he had a failed a DC nineteen a DC fifteen will save, he was going to break it over over Kangasero's head. <laughs> but being as though he did incredibly well, he ignores Kangasero like and, and more he than he is. He, 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 did, he carefully put down the instrument, pick up a chair, and break it. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I, I, I never see a, a, a vampire to like this before. Well, hey, um, um, it, it, most of the Charlie X songs are sad. Yeah. Well, that they are tragedies. And I'm saying, I'm so sorry, family. I'm so happy last Thursday. And I'm even starting to post him getting a Christmas present. Oh, can I guess they're like burst into tears, uh, realize that. Uh, a nasty creature like a vampire can create a beautiful thing like that. And um, like uh, your, your, your bird um, twitches back to um, standing back up again and just looks at you with with, with, with the eyes of uh, anything he, he's saying. Thank you. Who? Uh, this is the Wait. first time your bird has ever given you a polite compliment that you can ever remember. And as such, we will both pretend it never happened. Okay. So I go for my health potion. I'll be doing my stuff. Guys, I'm going to go make millions of gold as a travelling barge. See you later. Okay, so we'll go for two more And, um, then, um, I just noticed that there is a, um, silver, um, jealous under the table. Uh, that is what? Well, uh, no one else noticed it because they were too uh, saddened by the playing well, of the instrument. And, and the corner I called Kangasero out of the room again to open the next door because I'm assuming you couldn't hear anything on the other side still. Twenty upgraded for pocketing it. Okay, you pocket it and all the coins in it. You bastard. Uh, so it is, it is basically like, like a, uh, is a chalice and it does have a lot of coins in top. Um, just for records, kind of like. Uh, let's just say it is, uh, room C12. Okay, I open the next door. I just wipe the tears off my face. Uh, so cruel creatures, but so I, I beautiful. I you going to ask Kangasara to pick it up for you. No, can you share out the court? I'd call Kangasera out of the room. <laughs> okay, so yes, uh, listening on the middle door, uh, middle door, they still hear no noise. Yep, and so Kangasera is going to open the door for us. Okay. Court again, ready. Uh, which, 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 which door is getting closed since we open it? Uh, none, none of these doors have closed after you've opened them. And also keep in mind that that devil opened and shut the door, yeah. so perhaps somebody should try and open the door, other than Kangasera. And Pim is probably very huge. So does Kordar try to open the door at that point? Well, okay, Kangaskar is already open at that point. So. Okay, so yes, the door's already open. And but obviously, Bellath could try closing and shutting the door, uh, open the door in the, the room that he's in right now, or yeah, when he gets out of the room. So. Yeah, sure, Squirt can do that. <laughs> so do we see anything on the other side of the middle door? Uh, yes, you see a passageway that leads into a closed porticlus. A closed what? A closed um, grating of metal that is a door that okay. slides up. You know, a metal gate. Okay, I never saw this that word before. It's the sort of thing you see at, in, on the front of castles behind the drawbridge. Yeah. Uh, at Port Tullis. Oh, okay, the, uh, yeah, that we, stuff that you bang on the, on, on the door, is that it? Well, no, no, no. Port Tullis is sort of like a, um, 
uh, like a, a steel fence that you drop down to block get block an opening. You know, like in the. Uh, oh, okay. okay. Uh, let's, let's keep go. going. It's just a yeah. word. Well, okay. Well, we can't get through at the moment unless um, Corda will see if he can. On the other uh, side. Oh, okay, see... okay. That that's the metal gate. All right, all right. I, I got it. You see well-preserved tapestries um, hanging um, uh, in the room uh, above stone benches, de depicting a mountain with a woman's face carved into the peak. Above an immense bridge that crosses the ocean below. Uh, while the uh, mountain's base rises, a strange city, a single stone pillar stands in the middle of the room and the image of a seven-pointed star with a hole in its centre carved into its north face. Chaos undivided. So you, you basically uh, see the Sahedron rune sitting on a pedestal on the other side of the um, porticlus and okay. tapestries of um, immense historical value around the room. You can see um, the um, stairwell descending into the area you were just in. Balath immediately tries to look for um, teleportation marks from a devil. There are no marks here. Cool, I was going to uh, give the, the block a bit of a test to see if he can raise it. He's not going to try and reach it, but he's just going to see if it's how heavy it is to raise. Uh. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It, how, it, how about we both it, we it both do it together? It seems, don't break it. We can go around the other way if we need to. It seems to be uh, well locked in place, uh, okay. like it's part of a mechanism. Okay. okay. Yep. So in that case, Cordai saying, "Hey, we can just go around the other side and come at it from down those stairs." As a kind of trap roll, based on what. Mm -hmm. uh, can't we make a lever or something like that and just go through here? We could just go round and come back down the stairs. Alright. Uh, we should have something it. to do with the pedestal because it looks like it moves. On the other Wait, side what? of the water yeah. It seems that it um, has the capacity to move. So I tell the whole party, hey, I reckon that pedestal moves and I'll open the door. Go on, man. Okay, so, well, let's walk around to go and have a look at it. Okay. How about I bow to the pillar again and see if something happened? Okay, you bow to the pillar, and the pillar seems very unimpressed by your bowing. But you, you do bow um, quite well. And that piece of, like, uh, throw up a pack of, a uh, couple of punches into the gate and go around. Okay, so <laughs> just, just to express my anger for not opening the gate. Gordark's going to go round. When we get to that room, if the room's on the floor, yep. he'll aim to uh, step carefully between the rooms rather than actually trying to leap over the whole thing. So, uh, Why you step carefully, you make it across without any problems. Yep. And then he's going to keep going and come down the stairs or up the stairs, yeah, whichever it was, and you find yourself to in, that room. And you find yourself in that room with the, um, uh, the, the tapestries and the... Uh, big uh, Sahedron rune on the pedestal. At this point, you do realise there's no real reason to raise the gate because Ooh. you've already been to the other side of it. The um, but okay, we're still going to have a closer look at what's in here and what's what's happening. To... So uh, as you have a look at the pillar, you see two points of interest. First, the hole in the middle of the Sahedron rune uh, carved on its side is, is triangular, not circular. And uh, mm -hmm. the um, star is uh, also pointing um, the, um, down instead of up. Mm -hmm. uh, everyone gets yeah. to, everyone gets to make a uh, wisdom saving throw at this stage to see if they can remember something in bond. Well, I, I was going to say when he wasn't there. Well, I was going to say I'm looking at the list of party treasure that I collected from the previous session, and we've got a crank, a brass crank with a pearl handle. That would be the thing be, that you'd be... You'll be having a look at it to see whether or not that might work. Um, it fits perfectly. Um, well, okay. He won't actually slot it in yet, but he'll say to Pimwinkle, yeah. mm, this looks like the handle for it. What do you think? The 27 says I think it is. Is that right? Jesus. 
Uh, what was that? He cloyed, he cloyed, did he whether or not him we could fix it or look at set off other thing or... Yeah, so I'll investigate the device that Cordos got and the X-Ray put it and can I see if it's going to trigger any traps or anything like that? You think it's the mechanism that raises the... Okay, doesn't look trap related, but it looks like it's the mechanism. Trap related. Okay, well Cordar will then insert the crank and give it a turn. Okay, you, you turn it, you manage to turn the star 180 degrees before it locks into place, and then there's a grinding and shrieking noise as a portico starts to raise. But it continues to look for signs of a dickhead devil and mm -hmm. a Q-Sub. Oh, vampire. Or I'll take a look at that. <laughs> Well, I'll take a look at the tapestries. So looking at the tapestries, you, you do think these tapestries are, are probably the some of the most important things you've found here. Uh, there are uh, two of them, and uh, their, their worth to the Pathfinder Society would be immense. Okay. Um, how big and heavy are they? They're, they're about like like 50 pounds, so I'd say five bulk each. Okay. Um... The and, and what are they picturing? Uh, they are picturing um, the era span uh, as it was um, before the uh, world was damaged, as well okay. as the Hollow Mountain and the city beneath it in um, uh, full grandeur. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now, uh, aside from the area to the south of us at the moment. I believe that's all the packages or doors that we can take a look at at the moment. So basically, yes, except for that's the only place you haven't seen, but that's okay. We can come back to that when you guys come back to this dungeon. Yeah. Yep. Uh, as uh, you think you're pretty much at the time limit on how long you can stay here before before you get back to the Pathfinder Lodge. Yeah. Yep. Well, Corda will see if the, uh, the tapestry can be pulled down carefully. Uh, they can easily be lifted off and pulled down. As you do that, um, you uh, see a wand just roll out of one of the um, hooks um, holding up the tapestry. Mm. I imagine everybody uh, sees it, not just me. It, it's the uh, clatter, yeah. clatter, clatter. I can't nick this one. Cool, no, I pointed out the bell at the table. And he's trying to uh, roll up the tapestries and convert it into a bundle that makes it more easily carried. Mm. So, So I, I think that would be a good point to end tonight's session okay. as you grab the stuff and head back to the Pathfinder Society. Yes. So I wanted to find out yep. how that happened to my friends. My, um, two things ago. And next All session right. we may have more characters. Yay! Yeah, uh, Annie may be joining. And, um, and I was going to uh, offer it to uh, uh, Grace or Emerist or both if they felt like joining this game. Oh, that'd be so cool. Why the, why the Brazilian chick didn't come to Pathfinder? She's interested in the D&D Pathfinder. Yeah, uh, D&D Tuesday. Fuck D&D, fuck it. Oh, fuck it. Yeah, she's a vampire. Go and find a vampire. Yay. Yes, I, I think they suck. <laughs> okay, so, so uh, just, thank just, you, just, folks. So just I, I you, thought because I you have some, some idea. idea. Next yeah. session, you will be um, doing a storyline based on that. Oh, cool. uh, I like it's something that uh, uh, Bella should like. It is <laughs> a Celestian city. Okay, okay. Does that mean we're not going to be looking any further for a shard down the bottom of this dungeon? You'll have to come back after you um, uh, solve a problem for the Pathfinders. Right, okay. They, they have things that are urgent, and these are what they consider um, luxury um, missions. Yeah, no, they're clear enough. They're clear and so, the idea, yeah, so the idea is, we, we may well come back to this, but not immediately. You're expected to come back at this in uh, three to six months of um, in-game time, if not um, a bit longer. Or, or, or otherwise, the Pathfinder will just end up with you come back, but you'll get a intermediate level before you go on to the next quest, which means you get um, Pathfinder dedication feed. Oh, oh yes. But I guess it's also the sort of thing that possibly the Pathfinder will send someone else down here to clean up. Yeah, we've cleared up most of it. 
Assholes. Probably not. Oh, well, thank you very much for that, guys. All good. So, yes, you have successfully breached into the area and found out details, but you've done the smart thing of um, not going through it, and at this stage, the only person you know who can get through it is Kangas Sarah. That's right. So, while he's going to be away from them, there's a good chance that they won't be able to get in here and do anything. It's okay. Funny story. Belak is considering contracting vampirism just to infect King of Sero. Uh, Martin, uh, tell us the truth. What will happen if we, like, uh, activate the, the devil's storyline? The thing on that room. That one, you won't, know, you won't know until you do it. So, in, in, because you weren't planning on going back there and bringing it, you'll just have to find out next time you come. You won't find out until Bella activates it and gets it to eat you. <laughs> the devil's toys, man. Don't mess with it. Bella sold the key, Kangasaro. Don't know what you're talking about. He sold the key. Yeah, he doesn't need that stuff. He sold it. Um, <laughs> by the way... Uh, in character, it's when we get back to town that um, cup and the god and the coins get split between everyone except Kangasero. Without, <laughs> and that's not to be a dick to you, Victor. Just to be a dick to Kangasero. Well, the thing is, um, there's a lot of silver involved there, so Kangasero can't touch silver at the moment. Because he's a vampire. Why? I, why I can't? Every time you touch silver, you get burnt. Yes, I know. I found out that I put two marks in your neck when you went in. Because you've absorbed too many devil souls. Suck shit. Well, we know I've got to say, I'm pretty good. Cordite's got, cord got, got a hell of a lot more devil soul hidden than King Sarah does at the moment. And, and he's still wielding silver weapons. Yeah, no, it's a good <laughs> thing your uh, silver hammer actually has a uh, rubber handle. <laughs> <laughs> well, leather handle. Yeah. Let, let let the, 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 the next, next session you'll be back to your normal hit points because the uh, bonus hit points only last until you take a long rest. Yeah. Okay. And also, we get to find out what happens to them when they break the You do. So, there'll be a few things that uh, happen next session. Thank God I didn't pass out this session because I, I did get a few like moments of, of sleep and nothing else. I will see you on the tweet. And uh, Jeremy, um, you may be away next week. I, I should actually be around. Oh, you'll be around. Change of plan, I should be around. That is good news. And we'll catch you guys next week, or the week after. Nice. If I don't catch you in the meantime, have a good Easter. You too. So, uh, right. fingers crossed either way. Uh. Good night, all. Thank you.